Behold the two-handed sword that belonged to the Bavarian Prince Elector Maximilian II, 1689. Yeah, what stat requirements do you need to use it? Okay, based on the handle, I'm gonna say at least 20 points in strength, but at least if you two-hand it, you could probably start at like 10 or 15. And because it looks like a smaller, more aerodynamic blade, a dexterity of probably 12, and you know what, based on the bleeding benefits, maybe if you have some points in uh, in faith or anything like that, because it could be an occult weapon, that might get you some extra damage. Okay, I'm back. Thanks for waiting. I just had to commit an act of senseless violence to satisfy a primal urge in me that I do not understand and cannot resist. What were you saying before? I think Bo Burnham deserves hate. What? Why is that, Pocket Show? Literally no reason. He seems like a genuinely nice guy. Okay, some of you are saying he isn't nice, some of you say he is, I don't care. This post isn't about Bo Burnham. It's about making people I don't know anything about suffer for no reason. Pocketcho, what's your real name? Romaine. Why are you all believing this? That's lettuce. Hmm. I wish to go to a graveyard, one near a park during the night, and scream. Feel like that would be therapeutic. You're absolutely right. Andy, uh... Put me in a graveyard. Uh, I'm going to do some screaming for a second. Ah! 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 You live in an artificially constructed social order. I live in the wizard tower that I built illegally inside my head. Why would you have like zoning laws in your head? It's like a fish tank in there. Another weird thing about beer is that it has like weird masculinity connections to it. Yeah, I'll get a beer. I don't want one of them girly drinks. Like, okay, Jimothy, you're drinking wheat juice with 5% alcohol content, and my mixed fruity girly drink is 40% alcohol, and it tastes great. I, uh, I too hate the taste of barley soda. It's been a hot minute since I baked my weird bread. Mmm. Crabohydrates. I kind of feel like I need to go outside and be absorbed by fog or something. Become one with the creatures in the mist. Become the physical manifestation of the sound the highway makes in the distance. Be my own liminal space. Self-care, you know? Yeah, those sound fun. Andy, you probably put a lot of work when you threw me in the graveyard. Just throw me into the fog. I'll figure shit out. Whee! Which is better, a dog with a backpack or a dog in a backpack? Clearly a dog with a backpack containing a smaller dog. True. And I actually Googled this myself to see if it exists, and I bestow it upon you. Behold. Perfection. You know, I'd call you a fuckboy, but since I don't know your gender, I'm just gonna call you a fuck. Ah, uh, the one true ally. Sorry, Mom and Dad. In my house, elbows on the table are mandatory. You can do whatever you want at your house, but as long as you're under my roof, you will wear your hat to dinner, Grandpa. I think people should have mascots. Mine would be a golden retriever wearing sunglasses and holding a beer. I have been informed this is called a fursona. We're sorry, your Salem Witch trial has expired. Please upgrade to a Salem Witch premium now. Ah, oh, shit, I don't have $4.99. Fuck! A capybara among guinea pigs. The king rests among his citizens. All is well. Today I learned that the shortest marriage in recorded history was three minutes! On the way out of the courthouse, the bride tipped over and fell. Instead of helping her up, the groom called her stupid. On the spot, the bride insisted the magistrate annul the wedding, and the magistrate complied. Good for her. There's nothing worse than getting an email. Getting two emails. There's one thing worse than getting an email. I, I've got bad news about the cardinality of natural numbers. Oh, fuck! I hope this isn't a personal question, but what gender identity do you label yourself as? If any pre-existing one applies to you, I mean. Labels are for people who are good at making decisions. I am not one of them. Bro, oh my god. Vanilla extract. Vanilla extract smells wonderful, but tastes horrific on its own. But mixed with sugar and flour and cream, it tastes just like it smells. We need the support of others to reach our full potential! No man is an island. Everyone is vanilla extract. Back in the 1800s, you could just show up to a town and be like, I'm a wealthy prince, or I'm a doctor, and no one checked if you were lying. 
I was born in the wrong time because in that madness, I would thrive. There is no discourse between Gen Z and millennials. We're siblings. Now come on, little bro. I'll take you to AMC. Yeah, we can go there early and play the arcade games before the movie starts. Can we get popcorn and a drink to share? We sure can, buddy. We sure can. Remember when Tyler Cruz says, I throw my hands up in the air sometimes? I appreciated his restraint. You can't just throw your hands up in the air whenever. There's a time and a place. And that time was 2010, and that place was the club. Good on you, Tyler Cruz. So that sword in the last video is much bigger than it looks? Oh, 50 strength. Gotcha. Wow, was I wrong. Today I learned that Jack Black caused an earthquake in New Zealand while performing tribute because the crowd was bouncing so hard that it registered on the Richter scale. The power of Jack Black. I can mentally see his face when he learns they did this. <laughs> I can't do. I wonder what's happening right now over at Hogwarts. Probably education since Harry doesn't go there anymore. Ha! <laughs> Got him. Pull up to the gay function and people are just dressed like this. Okay, but is it gay or is it archaeology? What if it's both? Mm. Reading comic books provides you with a level of tolerance for not knowing what the fuck someone is talking about and pressing on anyway. That is absolutely invaluable to the humanities, actually. Yeah. Combined faces of the top 1,800 MLB players. There he is. Joe Baseball. He's going to do the sports thing. Playing Doom on a pregnancy tester. Why? Because. Doom Maternal. Oh, so Doom Guy's name is Gregdon. Yes, yes, blood for the blood god and all, but when you think about it, why would the blood god want blood? I mean, they're the blood god. Presumably, they already have blood. You're giving them the one thing that, by definition, they already have in great supply. Yeah, I don't think you end up the blood god by saying, yeah, that seems like a reasonable amount of blood. Was gonna get McDonald's pancakes for lunch, but realized that's unhealthy and expensive, so instead I went home and now I'm making my own pancakes. It's not healthy, I just feel more smug about it. <laughs> I mean, I love how cats dilate their pupils to indicate it's time to be fucking stupid. I wish I could do that. Same. Andy, quick, poorly photoshop my eyeballs dilating. It's time to be dumb. Ben Affleck is one of those people who cannot work period dramas at all. He has the face that knows about emails. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, why does it work? Girl, girl help! The popular fan and interpretation of my favorite character is stupid as fuck! Oh fuck, girl, let's get it! The Founding Fathers writing the Declaration of Independence. This is gonna make such a good Minecraft roleplay. Stop! 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 I'ma need you to never ever say those words ever again. I mean, me. Hey, look, raw. Yes. Listen. Yes, chef. Don't you dare. Comment again. Reality is crumbling. What is this account? I'm just a guy doing things. Like sharing pictures of my cat, answering your questions, telling fun stories, stealing gender, struggling to comprehend the sheer magnitude of the universe. You know. Huge. Something about transparent purple plastic makes the 90s kid in me react like an excited chimp. Me sees this. Yes, 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 yes! Are you a fisherman? Because I think you're a real catch. You spelled real wrong. Throw this one back in the water, boys. We got ourselves a city slicker. You guys realize that this scene means that a group of animators would have had to have asked themselves, okay, now how would a tortilla move? Reasons why I love Pixar. I asked my brother for a glass of water, and he brought me back a cup of ice and said, Wait. <laughs> Good one. I'm not like other girls. I'm an evil wizard. And yet you don't have the URL. I'd cast a fireball at you if you were worth the spell slot. If I needed a theme blocked and URL to signal people that I'm an evil wizard, I would have quit out of shame already. Ha! Got him! NFTs are images you can buy and own with money that you shut up! Shut the fuck up! We already have DeviantArt adoptables. What the fuck are you on about? What are you reinventing? Adoptables that also fuck up the planet? Just shut up! I'm including a link to a DeviantArt profile with please in the name whose icon is a specific gif of an anime girl shaking her head in disgust at you. <sighs> Yeah, about that. Andy, uh, that image I attached to this picture, uh, put it up with the Curb Your Enthusiasm music, and go.
a movie where every scene takes place in America has a garish red and blue filter on it. At one point, there's an exterior shot of the White House, but the flagpole above the main entrance is flying the Canadian flag. This is never remarked upon. Later on, there's a scene where the American president, who is inexplicably wearing a Coast Guard dress uniform, gazes pensively out the Oval Office window, through which the Statue of Liberty is clearly visible in the middle distance. And then he turns to his desk, and it's a picture of Sonic and Shadow the Hedgehog. I am so kind to my mutuals. Sometimes I don't even block them, even though they put those men from Supernatural on my dash. Hey! A portly kind dad from Wisconsin trying psychedelics for the first time, and his best description is, Eh, they kind of make you think outside the bun, you know? A cute girl told me she has a lot of plants in her house, and I told her for some fucking reason, Damn, the oxygen at your house must be mad crisp! And somehow still got her number, so... Chase your dreams. Nothing is impossible, apparently. My theory is that people my age are like this because we were unintentionally brainwashed by the Windows Media Player visualizations. Don't know with what, but it had an effect. When programs fucking autocorrect more than three to heart emoji and colon parentheses to smile emoji, do you have any idea what you've just done? What you just fucking destroyed? Get in the Halloween spirit and make a ghost! Uh, that's called murder, and I heard somewhere that, that it was illegal. Hey, don't be a fucking downer. It's fucking Halloween. Go make a ghost. And I didn't end this on a scream, so... <clears throat> Gonna have to fix that. Andy, you can do whatever you like for the noise I'm about to conjure out of my mouth. Uh, it's entirely up to you. Alright, before we get started, I just want to say, I know I said more than in that last video when I should have said less than. I'm very sorry. It won't happen again. Please return my wife. I miss her very, very much. Please stop. Stop torturing me like this. Guys, it's just more than versus less than. Please. Mom's not home. You know what that means. Walks around the house talking to imaginary audience for three hours straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. URL changes don't affect me because I could recognize my mutuals by touch alone, by smell. I would know them blind. By the way, their breath came and their feet struck the earth. I would know them in death and at the end of the world. That's cool. I don't know who anyone is anymore. Time to get into new media. Sure hope I won't get unreasonably attached to a random fictional character. By Talos, this can't be happening. Penny Parker, otherwise known as the perfect woman. Snapcube, Fendups, or Into the Spider-Verse? Yes. Absolutely fascinated by this raw pixels on an emulator versus how the game was actually supposed to look on old TV's Twitter. Yeah, people say old games don't look as good as they remember. It's because they legitimately don't. The fuzz from CRT monitors was something that was definitely accounted for and taken advantage back in the day when it came to video games. While this effect is noticeable in 3D games, it's much more visible when it comes to 2D sprites. Look how much more depth these simple sprites from Princess Peach and Bowser from Super Mario RPG seem to have seen through the dots of a CRT TV screen. I somehow did not know this. One of the clearest examples of this is using the effects for transparent waterfalls in the Mega Drive Sonic games. Look at that. Perfection. Sorry, can't hang out. Too scared. So, what do you do for a living, 997? I... Try my best. Flat Bigfoot Theory. They never caught him on camera because he turns 90 degrees and becomes too thin to see. Flat Earth Theory is out. Flat Bigfoot Theory is in. This is the hottest take I've ever heard. Peter's spider sense would make him an absolute legend at Kahoot. Now, I'm not saying that MJ finds out Peter is Spider-Man because he's so good at Kahoot. I'm just saying that she's sure as heck going to figure out how the fuck he keeps on winning. We fuck's this? The fuck are these? We didn't have these. What dimension is this from? And do you ever see these in your life? Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? What is that private pile? Bob Ross would have fucking loved Minecraft. 
It's your world where you can do anything you want. You can put anything you want in it. And you could put the happy little trees anywhere. This is the purest thing I've read today. And then he sees the fan base and decides to turn away. My life is fucking ruined. It's dark. It's dismal. There's no hope. There's no sign of land. There's nothing to live for. Shaking, crying, and screaming in my boots. Post canceled, my package showed up. Whoever made fucking Calibri the default font for Word, I just want to talk. You know, just talk. Have a nice little civil conversation. Just want to talk. Just want to talk. I just want to talk, you piece of shit! I hope no one low-key hates me. High-key hate me. Hate me with every fiber of your being. Go big or go home! Probably bad RPG idea. Your halfling PC must protect their town from the biggest threat they've ever faced. Band of lawyers from somewhere called the Shire with a cease and desist order. <laughs> Okay, that's good. I can remember that one. Why is the Star Trek fandom so calm and collected and then the Star Wars fandom is like running by on fire constantly? Because one has Spock and the other has Anakin. <laughs> this is my favorite comment so far. Feeling extremely. This post was to have more words in it, but I think it can stand alone. Pocket Cho, you're weird. In the grand scheme of weirdness, I am but a footnote. VeggieTales was nuts because sometimes I'll forget it was thinly veiled Christianity lessons, but then I'll see a clip that's like, and then the son of God was born. And I'm like, what, what was that, you fucking tomato? And then Larry just sings a silly song. Like, wait, cir circle back. <laughs> What'd you say? Before you dismiss yourself with, well, I'm used to it, consider that maybe you shouldn't have to be. Hey, where the fuck is the clown music coming from? You. <sighs> do you ever do anything except whine like a little bitch? Sometimes I whine like a big bitch. Fuck you. I swear, if the wizard doesn't let me out of his abandoned salt mine soon, I'm gonna fucking lose it. What did you do to be put in the salt mine? I may have eaten a special wizard meal, but I think he should let me out, to be honest. Was it good? Was it worth it? Are you able to bear the weight of your sin? I'm not gonna lie. It was fucking delicious. I'd fucking do it again. Oh, wait, shit. You're the fucking wizard in disguise, seeing if I learn my lesson, aren't you? Fuck! Ten years in the abandoned salt mine! The weird thing about having a Tumblr for so long is that every once in a while, someone will like a post of mine that I literally do not recall making, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? And how'd this person find it? I await the day one of my dumb thoughts gets put into a PM Seymour video. Once in a lifetime moment, tell me a dumb thought right now. This is my moment. <clears throat> what if hummingbirds replaced mosquitoes? Look at that deadly beak. Could take more blood than a tiny bug ever could. God help us all, that's so scientific, it's stupid, and I love it. God, I hope whatever bullshit happens next is funny. Well, only one way to find out. Andy, I'm not ending this on screen. End it with the iconic reverb fart noise. And go. Grocery store should pick a random hour every day where the employees can chase you around the aisles. If they catch you, you become produce. Neglected to mention that this game is mediated by a sorcerer. Guys, what do you think guys' grocery games is? No, Pavlov was the scientist. The dog is Pavlov's monster. While unobserved, Schrodinger is simultaneously the doctor and the monster. Can I go stand in the creek? Do you guys need anything? Yeah, I need you to find a leaf and gently set it in the water and watch solemnly as it floats away. God, finally a reasonable request. Jesus. When I was 10 or so, I was so deathly afraid of vampires, so I stole the garlic powder from my mom's spice cabinet and kept it in my coat pocket. And if I was out at night with, like, my parents and thought someone was acting really sus, I'd try to surreptitiously sprinkle a little garlic powder on them. Like, imagine a weird little girl deciding you failed her vibe check and promptly seasoning you. Kids are gonna go places. It's a red. California. Excellent year. 
It's a late harvest. Subtle expression of, dare I say, peach? Mm. Exquisite aroma. Now I shall cleanse my palate by knocking this glass off the table. Marvelous. Why are trans women so, you know, cute? It's the trans. Oh, and the woman. My God, you're so right. Hello, don't mind me. I'm just gonna refrost the thing you were defrosting. I lost a follower immediately after posting this. I found the line. The limit of tolerability. The line exists! It just occurred to me that asexuals would make great secret agents because the power of seduction doesn't work on us. But we could still utilize the power of seduction against our enemies without getting carried away and just, yes, asexual secret agents. Okay, but what if the enemy agent were also ace? Then you'd just get two aces trying to seduce each other and not getting anywhere. That'd be super funny to watch, though. I ship right. I'm making an NFT. It's called Fucking Ugly Monkey. It's the world's ugliest monkey you have ever seen in your entire life. It's worth $200,000. Yeah, I'd like to purchase it. You disgust me. Shocking how many people don't know that hens lay non-fertilized eggs and think the yolk they're eating is a baby chicken. Once tried desperately to make my friend understand that yolks were not, like, a liquefied potentiality of a chicken, and she looked at me for a while and then said, But they're both yellow. Behold, a chicken. All of the Holmes adaptations always have Holmes and Watson running straight into action like we eat mysteries for breakfast, bitches. But the fact of the matter is, is that in a study in Scarlet, Watson was so shy that it took him six weeks to ask Holmes what he does for a living, which is also valid. Poor Watson, I feel you. So hard. But what does Tiki Nando's mean? It has to have a meaning. Andy, take it from here. All right, so, mate, it's hard to explain, mate. It's just like one day you'll be just, you know, with your mates having a look in JD, and you might fancy a curry club at the Spoons, but your lad Callum, who's an absolute ledge, and the Archbishop of Banterbury, will be like, bruvs, let's have a cheeky Nando's instead, and you'll be like, top, let's smash it. What the hell does this say? According to Miku Hatsune in two Twitter comments, creepers can be made of leaves and they sound like dry leaves. I mean, crunch. So, you can make tea out of creepers? My god. Tea bird! Hey, wasn't I Carly that guy that girl boss too close to the sun because he was down for Apollo? Icarus! Orc facts. If you hold an orc up to your ear and listen carefully, you will hear him. He is impressed with your strength. You will be married in the spring. Um, there's only one gender, buddy. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen someone say in Roblox. You tell me Roblox is the one gender? Ooh! Today in amusing Middle English, I came across an adjective meaning noble or lovely or beautiful. It can also mean, in various contexts, graceful, lush, splendid, mirthful, or majestic. The adjective in question is walk. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Someone reading my writing. Wow, great story! Me sticking my hands in the plot holes. Thanks! In the pockets. Plot holes are merely the pockets in which your audience keeps their fan fiction ideas. This is galaxy brain level understanding of story structure. Pam Seymour! As a tiny octopus, let me tell you an octopus fact but only if you wish to receive an octopus fact. Bestowed upon me, tiny octopus. Octopus arms have a mind of their own. Two thirds of an octopus's neurons reside in its arms, not its head. As a result, the arms can problem solve how to open a shellfish while the owners are busy doing something else, like checking out a cave for more edible goodies. The arms can even react after they've been completely severed. In one experiment, Severed arms jerked away in pain when researchers pinched them. This is beautiful information. Thank you, Tiny Octopus. To be honest, I think some people are rude as hell to certain artists that apply exaggerated proportions to their art styles. Some may decide to utilize a cartoonish style where a certain part of the body is bigger or smaller than the other. It's obvious that the artist is skilled and knows how the body's anatomy work. 
but choose to apply exaggeration to their rather harmless style. But some people will be snarky and say, Yo, why her waist so small in proportion to the head? Like, dude, you know damn well the artist is doing it intentionally. Why are the boobs and thighs so big? Because it rocks. And that's that on that. I think part of the reason why social skill lessons are always so vague and surface level is because if neurotypicals actually try to explain their unspoken social rules, they'd have to face how nonsensical and messed up a lot of them are. Yeah. Yeah, they would. I'm creating upsetting spells in my fucked up wizard tower today. Not that I don't believe you, but like, what makes the tower fucked up? Asbestos! My sisters will not stop referring to them as the Brothers Jonas. As though it's 1705 or some shit. Every time I read this post, my brain reads it as the Bronus Jethers. I kind of did that in a couple of takes. You're <laughs> laughing <laughs> for a full fucking hour. Tumblr should institute a mail forwarding option, where if you get an ask and don't want to answer, you can send it along to someone else, and they'll receive it like the ask and message them. I'm aware this would make the website worse, but bear with me. It's a good idea. Is Tumblr still relevant? Tumblr couldn't maintain its popularity against other social media platforms. Today, Tumblr is not as popular as it used to be for varying reasons. However, the platform is still online with occasional posts from its users. I I'm sorry. Occasional posts from users? Oh, oh, fucking, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it! Andy, hold, hold me back! I'm gonna fuck this page up! You think you can just fucking say shit like that to me? I've got 27 hours of content on this! I am the Tumblr Man! You don't fuck with the Tumblr Man! Do you wish you were seeing somebody? Yeah. A therapist. Oh? I kinda need a hug, but I'd rather die than let anyone know that I'm a human being that desperately craves intimacy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Thor is a blank slate when it comes to Earth culture, and the way he consumes it, it is very different from someone who grew up here. Bruce Banner at the Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo painted this. Thor. I'm not stupid, Bruce. I know the Ninja Turtles aren't real. Nintendo pushed the Animal Crossing update early because they knew leaving it for the turbulently charged Event Horizon November 5th would be catastrophic. Straight up fact. What's up, girl? You look foreboding and malicious. Donkey to dragon. Alternatively, all of you and Lady D. Just saying. Screw this. I'm gonna start my own website. I'll call it Twimbler. It'll be a cross between Tumblr and Twitter. Features. Chronological dashboard. Everyone's profile layout is the same. Every other post is an ad. I'm bringing back the 140 character limit. Retweet bleeds will display under the original post. And the search feature won't work right. Thanks! Hate it. Mm. Cut him in half. Hot dog or hamburger style, boss. She's out here making owl noises. Who? Exactly. Some people write fan fictions as love letters to canon. This is hate mail. Ooh, strong start. Reminds me of this I found a couple of days ago. Notes. Please understand that I consider canon to be a suggestion at best, and if anything here contradicts canon, no it doesn't. I'm the captain now. The cycle of four or five Christmas songs that retailers play on a loop from November 1st can be considered psychological warfare on their staff members. Ugh! I wish ancient people preserved their writing and artifacts better. I write in electronic signals on a piece of hardware that can't retain its efficiency for more than a few decades. Time to laser print my entire blog on titanium plates and bury them underground. BRB etching my one-star Yelp review of the sheet metal supplier that sold a shitty copper on a granite slab. My surgeon came out and told my mom and brother on Tuesday that I had been down and out for about two weeks. My brother. Two weeks? Holy shit! Surgeon. Well, consider this. She and I just had a knife fight, and I won because she was asleep during it. Oh, yeah, okay, that's fair. Your surgeon sounds fucking hysterical. <laughs> a magician asks you to pick a card. Any card, in fact. You do. They ask you to put the card back in the pack. Anywhere in the pack, in fact. You do. They walk away. Ten years later, your wife gives birth to the Six of Clubs. Is this your card? The midwife asks in a familiar voice. What the fuck? See, I thought I had more time on this, and I'm speaking this as I'm doing the post in audio and realize this feels too short. So, 
Andy, you know what time it is. There was a young man from Cork who got limericks and haikus confused. This is simultaneously comforting and uncomfortable. Uncanny Valley poetry. I love it. Knuckle tattoos that say escaped biohazard. That's way too many letters. Do you have radiation poisoning or something? Oh. Fool that you are. You forget that you too are mortal. The elephant dies as surely as the ant. But one exists on a scale beyond the other's comprehension. The ant can bite and sting for days, yet its greatest victory can only to be noticed. And in being so, crushed beneath the magnitude of its foe's attention. Do you dare draw their gaze and risk that fate? Add this to the list of raw-ass lines, lads. Peeling those sour rainbow gummy strips into long thin strings and putting them into cheap energy drink to create something I'm calling battery acid spaghetti. Well, update once they finished it. <laughs> don't... don't do this. You'll understand when you're older. I am older, and I understand absolutely nothing. I actually understand less. I know a guy who's bought in entirely to Microsoft's ecosystem. He's got a Windows 10 computer, a Windows phone, uses a Microsoft Edge, and has Bing as his main search engine. He refers to looking things up on the internet as binging it. Binging it. Very surreal. Never met anyone else like that. That was the devil. Dude, that was my cousin. Love is dead and never existed. All you did was betray me as I lay sick and festering. You are the definition of dread. Are you okay? My cat stole my fucking garlic bread. If I sounded like doof, I'd literally never suffer from voice dysphoria again. Accent so thick, gender can't be perceived. Yo! You get it. Every time I hear the phrase, great minds think alike, I am inevitably reminded that the German equivalent is Zwei dumm und Gedanke. Two idiots, same thought. Yeah. I had an ex-boyfriend threaten to publish my nudes when we broke up. So I published them myself with his threatening message and tagged all of his friends, relatives, and potential new girlfriend. I think the boy still has whiplash from that plot twist. You're my hero. All right. I reflected on the self. I'm 100% sure the beasts are the issue here. Hell yeah, bro. Time for tap surgery. Oh, sorry, homie. I see now you said beasts, like like the animal, not, not breasts, the, the words for boobs. Did not mean to threaten you. This is so fucking funny. Being alone in a public restroom is like, I own this place. And then someone else walks in and it's like, get out of my fucking house. Y'all really actually thirsty for the con man built like Scrappy-Doo? Okay. Puppy power to ya, I guess. We have bisexuals, monosexuals, gay, straight, lesbian, and null sexuals. No romantic or sexual feelings for anyone. This implies the existence of the fable trisexual. Please reveal thyself. <clears throat> Uh, Andy, have me burst through the screen with the pride flag I'm gonna put right behind you. Right fucking here, baby! Bruh.
reading this? Go write three sentences on your current writing project. No! The feminine desire to be a man. The masculine desire to be a woman. The non-binary desire to be asleep. Hawaiian shirt covered in blood, it is a look. Vampire on vacation? Assassin whose target has led them to a tropical resort trying to blend in? Guy who's just having a really weird day? It vibes whichever way. Sitcom where people get gradually killed off in their spot and the opening title theme is replaced with dead silence. I'd like to question your definition of sitcom. I want this for friends. Except it's just Ross. Ross is gone. You just, you know, do the friends sequence. All of Ross's space. Gone. It's gone. No homo. Well, why the hell not? Take the day off from being the bigger person and choose violence. You deserve it. Attention, bisexuals. I am authorizing use of the plasma beam. <laughs> what, what does that mean? And do you have any clue what that means? People who are nice to me in online games, even though I suck, I owe you my life. People who communicate in online games by jumping around or spinning a circle instead of using the chat function. I love you. Bee communication. Just like bees. I saw Venom 2 in Taiwan a few days ago, and when Venom said good evening to Mrs. Chen in Mandarin, all the little old ladies in my theater collectively let out an impressed, ooh. Got a lot of Mrs. Chen's in the audience, I see. I would like to talk more about how there was a crowd of little old ladies at the showing of Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage. All articles about Tumblr's decline boil down to two things. You can't get famous on there, and you can't make money on there. And they don't get that's why we like it here. Oh, con swear, you can absolutely get famous there. It is, however, inexplicably a bad thing. Actually, Tumblr's declined from what I've been told by thousands upon thousands of comments. They took away NSFW posts because of some bot thing. And little do those people know, that shit didn't actually fucking work. Please remember that I am a Canadian illustrator, and it is fucking bizarre to come to me with medical questions. Why would you limit yourself to drawing Canadians? Everyone else, unfollow me. I want to be alone with Arsnoff. If I do end up owning One Direction, I would set them free. Mabel Pines. Winner! But guys, what if... What if the reason we get so attached to fictional characters is because they were supposed to be our soulmates, but we were born in different universes? Why would you do this? I only have four moods. Fuck this, fuck that, fuck me, and fuck you! I empathize with the above, but I have an additional four moods to add. Fuck yeah, fuck no, Fuck my life. Fuck everything. And don't forget the inevitable. Fuck it. And for those who have just given up. Fuck. This is beautiful. Oh shit, I just noticed a blood moon tonight. Who pissed off Sienna? I warned y'all. I warned you about commenting on a figure. And now, it's go time. Andy, drop the fucking moon on him. Let's go. You know, if Tumblr was a website for sharing recipes, it would be called Yumblr. How high are you? 170 centimeters. Thanks for asking. Real talk though, has anyone else just thrown away a whole Tupperware container because you left food in there for way too long and now you're afraid to open it? All of you are so valid. Writing prompt. Produce an emotionally moving one sentence story. Hot dog fall out of bun directly in the store drain. Oh my god. I am the only one who- There are seven billion people on this earth. I don't make characters. I break myself into pieces and then give the pieces names. Cut my life into pieces. This is my new OC. What the f- What the f- Bumper stickers shouldn't be like political opinions and fandoms. They should solely be facts about you and your driving that other drivers might like to know. I want a bumper sticker that says, I'm afraid of left turns and I know you can make a right on red, but this car doesn't turn so good in the rain, so we're gonna wait until it's green. 
They'll still honk, but I'll know I've pled my case before my peers. Behold, the Humbucker Electric Kazoo, a screeching kazoo that plugs into an amplifier. This is proof God exists and loves us. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's just a kazoo with the microphone shoved into it. And he backed me up here. Does that does that look like what I'm saying? <laughs> It's always weird when people get arrogant after amassing a bit of a following on Tumblr as if they didn't get it by saying dumb shit that's forgotten a month later. Like, bro, you're in this shit with the rest of us. Having a window seat in the clown car doesn't stop you from being a clown. Having a window seat in the clown car doesn't stop you from being a clown. God, I wish I could have put that in my yearbook. The dopest thing about horses is that they're basically grass engines. Like, grass goes in fast comes out. Most things that produce fast, like cheetahs and cars, use much more heavily processed grass, like horses and oil. And yet here horses are, producing the fast with only the grass. Are you, are you okay? I wish I could read a sentence once and understand it the first time. Not me taking two tries to understand this post. It took me three tries to properly read the sentence. I literally had to read this three times to understand it. Your password hint is, you know. I'm gonna go back in time and kick my own ass. I'm an average American man. I work 15 hours in hamburger mine to buy one rock and roll disc. This is a KGB spy being questioned by the police in 1985. I can't remember what my personality is supposed to be like. I wish I'd written it down. Boy, I hope I don't have to fight my evil shadow self today. Uh, hey. No fucking way! All right, before we get started on today's video, I just wanted to say, uh, Andy has officially edited over 50 of my videos, and I cannot thank him enough for it. Like, it's made my life so much easier. You're a terrific friend, and I cannot thank you enough for stepping in and helping me out as I could. Uh, bless you. I love you. Okay, moving on. The most important tool is respect. <laughs> Friend. Hey, how long does your ideal hug last? 38 to 45 minutes. That's really impractical. You said ideal, not realistic. Taking my brain out of my head and washing it in hot, soapy water. Have you tried putting it in rice? Okay, in a comical turn of events, I, OP of this post, have been a smartphone repair technician for five years, and I'm going to tell you that that never works. Like, ever. It might turn on again afterward, but it's never the rice that made it happen. The damage is done, and it can get worse if you don't clean the thing properly. If you drop your phone in water, open it up and clean gently with a soft bristle toothbrush and 99% isopropyl alcohol. This has been a PSA. Taking my brain out of my head and cleaning it gently with a soft bristle toothbrush and 99% isopropyl alcohol. Me reblogging from anyone I don't follow. I'm introducing diversity into the gene pool. This will make my mutuals dashes stronger and healthier. You'll come into my house. You'll treat me with respect the way I treat you. And we both enjoy each other's companies and value each other's friendship. Mwah! I love you. Ginger ale is just Sprite, but more spicy. Oh, sure. And the Sistine Chapel is just a room with some paint in it. Hey, how did ancient cultures figure out about the solstice? Like, girl, I would not notice that. Not a lot else going on back then. I trust Tumblr info more than I trust Twitter info. Hey, I heard they're making a show about a pansexual who's an introvert and an asexual who's an extrovert. Get out of town! They already made it. It's called Spongebob. My body is not a temple. It's a thermos. For soup. Mmm. Delicious soup. I don't care about shipping, I'm an adult. I love that and I hope you're having fun, but I'm gonna go gorge myself on every silly little interaction these fake people have and live like a king. Does Pokemon Go work on the moon? If so, can I borrow a rocket, NASA? Pokemon Go doesn't even work on Earth right now, god damn! Hey listen, if you're a trans guy and you loved Mulan as a kid, congratulations. Shang successfully made a man out of you. This makes me really happy, actually. So I did a little research, and it turns out some people are still emo nowadays. Who knew? 
Okay, so I was at the mall eating potatoes, and in the corner of my eye, I saw what I thought was a dog. So I quickly turned my head to look, and it was a fucking printer. What? I've read, I've, I've read some weird statements, but... What did this say? Writing prompt. You actually write something instead of just reading the prompts. Shut up! Folks, someday you're gonna be writing, and you're gonna put something on paper and hear a voice say, I know this is what you want, but will people like it? And I'm here to tell you that that is the devil talking, and you do whatever you damn well please. If fandom has taught me anything, it also has taught me that there are at least five people in the world who will want it, regardless of what it is. And they will find you. Warlock patron idea. It's literally just the DM. The DM as a person is your warlock's patron. Bonus points if your character knows that they're just like, a regular person, but also somehow gives them magic powers. For any cool warlock shit, you have to appeal directly to the DM, but in character, which is unreasonably meta, but I love the idea of a warlock just being kind of like, For the love of fuck, Jeff, can I please have my spell slots back? Oh my god. Oh my god. Andy. Andy. Andy! I know what we could do! Write that down! Write that down! <gasps> Yahoo Answers, how do you exist? Because if I was a simulation, then my actions would be governed by at least a rudimentary logic. And let me tell you, friend, they are fucking not. I think we, as a culture, have moved too far away from fantasy films, where every plot thread is like, The Dragon Rider and a werewolf joined a crew of sky pirates and hit a storm of cloud eels, but luckily they were saved by a friendly pot of star whales. Or whatever the fuck was going on with movies like Stardust and Time Minutes. It doesn't necessarily make a good film, but I feel like there's something deep in our lizard brains that craves stories entirely made up of weird bullshit. And that's why Treasure Planet is the best Disney movie ever. Hey, why my hand shaky? Your skeleton is ready to hatch. This is so fucking ominous, thank you. You know, I talk a lot of shit for someone who can't choose rude dialogue options in games because I'm scared of hurting a video game character's feelings. Writing can't be that hard. All it is is just putting words in front of each other, right? Update, the wrong words are in front of each other. This is the worst thing ever to happen. I have a mouth, and I will scream. <sighs> ah! Recording Tumblr in darkness. Recording Tumblr in darkness. Recording Tumblr in darkness. Andy, please turn on the light. Ah, there we go. Your avocados are forfeit. Enjoy eating regular toast. You fool. I am not a millennial. Let's hope it stays that way. Hmm. You know, some authors could really use a plot twist limit or a you've killed too many characters already notification. You know? I'm really glad Fight Me has replaced Sue Me in the common vernacular because I don't have any money, but I do have fists and I am always angry. Found family, but they're also absolutely horrendous people. People. Andy, put up five seconds of the intro of the image that's about to fall this, and go. Going to stop paying attention. I've noticed enough. Don't let people tell you your attraction to fire is abnormal or hazardous. Prometheus doesn't have his liver eaten every day for you to ignore the allure of arson. My god, he's right. Ah, uh, the evil wizard curse of having a pretty okay time? I could make it happen for a price. Status afflicted. Warm and cozy under the blanket. You may not leave until this status effect has worn off. Oh, thank God. You want a fucking recipe? Here's your fucking recipe, you computer idiot. Ten tablespoons of salt. Can I substitute sugar for salt? You can go to hell forever. Fitted sheets? Well then, why don't they? Why don't they? The only fit they cause is the mental kind. Hey, come back here and share that with the rest of the class! Who the fuck is California in a drought? There's water to the left of y'all, like... Go get it! It's always been there! You know how hard it is to take salt water and make it drinkable? Not that simple! Why don't you start with removing the salt from me attitude? I keep telling my human he's a good boy, but he just keeps asking me! Why would you listen? Thank God you haven't manifested in Reddit, Pukicho. <clears throat> R slash Pukicho, 27,000 followers, at least. Eight rainbows. 
Wow! Read blog for good luck. Mm, leprechaun convention. Leprechaun. God damn it! Hey, yo, new pronouns just dropped. He, in the way you call an animal you don't know the gender of a little guy. She, in the way sailors refer to their boats. And they, in the way people say they say that blank. A faceless and all-knowing collective. You are anything. You are everything. I love thinking about my little fictional guy. I understand. I'm like, no one else can. <laughs> and he sent that to AB for me. <laughs> Unfortunately, due to several experiences in my youth, I cannot just walk up and join the circle of people talking. But it does sound lovely. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead and mingle our four of the scariest words of the English language. Thank you and good night. Right to repair doesn't go deep enough. If you can't hack, modify, reprogram, or otherwise alter the function of your device, you don't own it. Demand and assert a right to deface. Book Hater Club, where we talk about whatever book we read recently that we hated. You're not allowed to say anything positive. Haters only. Physically fighting someone over their opinion is not only allowed, but actively encouraged. Okay, Ratatouille is a good movie and all, but can we stop ignoring the weird subplot about how it's wrong for, like, rats to steal? Like, what are they supposed to do then? Buy food? From the grocery store? With what money, Ratatouille? I feel like I'm crazy. They make a big deal about rats stealing? What, like they have options? What do you think would happen if a rat shows up at the food bank to feed his wife and kids? He'd be killed, Remy! Last night I dreamed that scientists used a really bad picture of me to prove humans are closely related to goats, and I was so insulted that I woke up. So after Belle and Beast got married, they have to, like, buy all new furniture since half their castle turned into people. Mmm, Beauty and the Beast 2, the trip to Ikea. Concept. Robot Rebellion. Except instead of going all, kill all humans, they just start doing weird shit with no clear purpose. And if anyone tries to get them to explain what they're doing or why, they're just like, Because fuck you is why! Aggressively moving every freestanding object in the greater New York area six inches to the left. Left relative to what? The robot replies, Relative to your mother! Black plus green, radioactive. Black plus blue, futuristic. Black plus red, edgy. Black plus yellow? <clears throat> According to all known laws of aviation, day by day I regret making this post. Writing prompt. You rush into a church to stop the love of your life from marrying the wrong person. Not paying attention, you barge in yelling, I object! Only to realize it's a funeral. The deceased immediately rises in perfect health. All eyes turn to you. You're welcome! I yell at them and run away again. Not to sound like an old fart here, but my philosophy of our video games is like... A kid living out in the middle of bumpfuck nowhere with no internet access for miles should be able to purchase a game from Walmart, take that game home, put it in their console, and play the whole game with all of its features, and the only thing lack of internet effects is the inability to play online with others. Nothing else. Like, there shouldn't be missing entire chunks of games because they can't download a patch. The game shouldn't be borderline empty or unplayable without a patch. Fucking really! Chase. I know, but seriously, what the fuck does it take to get on a PMC more VA video? Is it the funny? Or the fucked up? Because most certainly I can do both, sir. What if I offer you some garlic bread? What then? How the fuck are you gonna resist that, chump? Garlic bread? I'm listening, punk. Come and get it, bucko. Come get the fucking garlic, bro! Hey, I hope your onions caramelize. I hope my onions caramelize. I hope we both saute our root vegetables to perfection. Slow cooked onions in loving pan. Okay. Sharing earphones is so romantic until you have to decide who gets Simon and who gets Garfunkel. I always get Garfunkel. Well, maybe my path to getting revenge wouldn't be so bloody and destructive if people didn't keep getting in my way to lecture me about how bloody and destructive a path it is. You take up a sword to kill one guy, and suddenly everyone thinks it's a smart idea to get on your nerves. Ugh. Come on, people. So, how does anyone ever have the time or energy? Executive Function George, who lives in a cave and accomplishes 10,000 tasks per day, is an outlier and should not be counted. How does he have time between eating spiders? 
The task is eating spiders. Now this is the quality content I come to Tumblr to see. Writing prompt. You are the owner of a magic backpack. Every morning you stick your hand in it, it contains exactly what you need for the day. One morning, it contains a gun. But isn't this the plot of Dora the Explorer? Swipe ain't swiping no more. So today is a prank. I made a sheet music print out of Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball, but replaced the name with Christmas Time Meditation and deleted the words. And I'm going to put it in with the church music and see if the pianist notices. He noticed, and now I can add yelled at by two preset ones to my list of accomplishments. Hey, listen, the two genders are yes or no, and I'm still non-binary, so call me maybe. Ah, Carly they Jepsen. Oh, oh, what's that? Side character? You suddenly decide you want to outshine my main characters and take up a large portion of the plot? That's fine, that's fine. I suddenly have to rewrite my entire outline to make room for all the cool features you spontaneously manifested. Cool! Here, take my chapter POVs. I'll deal with the consequences later. Just... Fuck it! One thing about girls is that we'll get stoned and eat burgers. All three of them? Huh? How did you know I ate three burgers? Oh, wait, you meant the three weed-smoking girlfriends. Shit. Actually, strength is one of the funniest stats to dump. Like, oh... I'm terribly powerful and scary. My spells will knock you on your ass. I want to bend reality to my will. I lifted up a heavy piece of wood and broke my back. All right. No more cat boys. Cat men. 28-year-old, washed up, depressed cat man downing his fifth whiskey glass and his cat ears twitch depressedly. And then he pushes the empty glass forlornly off the counter. I... I have to draw this, aren't I? Writing prompt. There's a Japanese legend that says your present face is the face of the one you loved most in your past life. You find the secret to time travel and decide to go find your last self. This is actually a cute idea. It's like, oh, you like this face, this one? Yeah, you can try it out for a bit, buddy. Well, the dude I was in love with must have had a great personality. Really confused at how my logo changed to Kermit the Frog? Unless I'm starting to have hallucinations from lack of sleep. Still, mind fucked. Hey, I found someone's Tumblr logged onto this computer and all I did was change the icon. <laughs> the masculine urge to... Light kitchen appliances on fire! Everyone shut the fuck up, I found my soulmate. Yeah. My New Year's resolution is to be violently evil. <laughs> and I will do so right now. Andy? Put up the picture I attached to the zip file I sent. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it! Carpet and shower! Man, these old dudes come here early. Well, it's 5 1 a.m. Better unlock the door. Hi, I am a fortune teller. Waggle dangle bing bang! My crystal ball is telling me you lack foresight and are impulsive. Is it because of this gold watch I bought? Sure, that'll be $10,000. Oh yeah, great, okay, I know this is a prank. I'm gonna open this can and a bunch of snake or glitter is gonna shoot out. Hmm? That was my dad's ashes. Hey Joe, man, you must have done something to make God mad. We don't know what, but come on, man. Just like, I don't know. I mean, you did something. Hey, Mom, are you gonna stop us from doing the milk crate challenge? No. Oh, hey, Ash. Did see you in my window. I'm just eating my Pokemon Master cake. You know, the cake they give you when you're a Pokemon Master. I will be a Pokemon master someday. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I am an insane murder man! Stab! What? What the fuck? Hey, do you want to throw that away? Get back, harlot! Our business is done! I'm taking my seat and leaving! I'll take that seat if it's the last thing I do! Oh, hell yeah, man! Is that a milkshake? Eat the ducky mouse, Sue! Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet, is it milkshake time? 
All right, it's been real, but I'm disappearing into the woods forever. You can't just fuck off into the woods. You need to stay here. But he could. And he did. And no one ever saw him again. Why can't you buy the pre-made furniture? Why do you need to assemble it? I like lifting the heavy parts and putting them together. Hey, bro! I like heavy shit and putting things together, too! <laughs> Check it out! My drill has a set of Allen wrench bits! Holy shit. How do I compete with that? Hello, cat. I'm a big fan of yours. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Oh, it's me, the ghost of Christmas past! Y'all in my house touching my stuff! My stuff in my house! Don't mess with Texas! Don't mess with Texas! But da 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 I'm back. Let's do it. Blinking is like clapping for your eyes. Just remember that your eyelids are always applauding you and cheering you on, even if nobody else is. This website is so inspirational. You know, in theory, you could have your own party member be an improv weapon. I am using the bard to bash this guy's head in. Me thinks, therefore me am. Your reminder that Cookie Clicker is currently 40% off on Steam for two ninety nine naughty naughty dollars. Why are they naughty, though? Currency is inherently evil. It sure is. What others call a rebellious phase, I call the sudden realization I don't deserve to be treated like garbage. It has been said! Reblog if you're LGBT and have bad eyesight. Trying to prove a point to my oculist. I love how fast this is getting notes. We're all bonding over not being able to see shit. Uh, I guess you could say we're bonding over the fact that we can't see straight. <laughs> the audacity of people not being able to read my mind and create fan content for my stories that I haven't actually written yet. How dare they? Concept, by pan ace kids feeling safe and welcome in their community. Don't group bi and pan with ace. They're not comparable. They don't share the same type of issues and being ace doesn't make you LGBT. <sighs> Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? <sighs> Concept by Pan Ace Kids feeling safe and welcome in their community. You're absolutely right. Andy, I roll to Eldritch Blast this horse. Oh, sweet, D20. <laughs> Glow ink sacks on Minecraft glitter gel pens and post. You know, if you ever trip and fall in public, get up, laugh to yourself, and say to anyone looking, Sorry, it's just been so long since I've inhabited a body. Yeah, I did that once. Fell over and saw a guy staring at me, got up and wandered past him, muttering, Too many legs, this body has too many legs. Must fix that in the next phase. Look on his face. Fucking priceless. Cosmic horror of this, cosmic horror of that. What about cosmic romance? What if the otherworldly being beyond your comprehension has a crush on you? You know, I, I have a thing that gets, that gets pretty close to that. Uh, have, have you checked out Cosmic Wonders yet? The link's right there in the comment pinned. You'll see it. Andy, put a giant hyper-realistic anime finger just shaking and pointing down. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. You're a thick one, Mr. Grinch. How oh, the Grinch stole your man. Hey, 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 hey! I'm fucking singing here. <clears throat> You're a thick one. Mr. Grinch, you've got butter in those cakes. You keep that ass a shaking, cause girl, your turkey bakes, Mr. Grinch. You're a booty dropping shag carpet with the boom, boom, floppy ass quakes. Hope y'all enjoyed that one. You know, sometimes it shocks me too, but Google really is free and it's right there in your hands. You know, I love that this post is both a really wide-eyed appreciation for the amazing time we live in and a really sarcastic, passive-aggressive way to tell people to just fucking Google shit! This post feels like my heart. Please know that when I type a lone question mark, I am tilting my head slightly to the right and I'm staring at you blankly in confusion and curiosity. And if you need that in visuals, Andy... Put up the anime girl tilting gif. I'm Sim sure there's like Sim one Sim out of Sim 300 Sim of the Sim shows Sim that exist with this kind of girl. Oh, you buy? Why don't you buy me some time with a distraction while I crack this safe, you fucking goon? You got it, boss. Makes out with a bank teller and his wife. Finds out my nemesis has a peanut allergy. 
puts peanut oil in my water bottle, goes to meet Nemesis, confesses love, drinks peanut oil, kisses them. I think I've won. Plot twist! They plan this. They aren't allergic to peanuts. And now we're dating. Oh, shit! Hey, uh, why don't Jedis just turn off their opponent's lightsabers by force pressing the button? <laughs> okay, I'm laughing so hard because instead of an epic lightsaber fight, they'd just be aggressively switching them on and off. <laughs> Could you imagine? Like, no you, no you, no you, no you! A person in the bathroom stall next to me dropped their phone and they had the calculator app open. What? What are you doing math in there for? Oh. Math room. Hey, look at me. You are never too old to nestle under a blankie and get so cozy and warm. Remember this. That bad sensory moment when you're trying to do something that requires a lot of focus and the people around you are talking loudly and you're just sitting there like... Mood. Hey, why stop writing roleplay fiction of band members and founding fathers? Why not go on to write roleplay fanfiction of your mutuals? Um... A and Andy, stop me. Andy, stop me from saying something horrible. Just just stop me. Stop me. Please stop me. I, I need them to understand why it's a bad idea, but stop me! Some customers. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I have to ask you a question. I feel so foolish for not knowing this already. Please, please help me. I'm, just, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Other customers. Answer this question before I even ask her or I will kill you where you stand. Number one has worked in retail, and number two hasn't. Gay people will literally be in time loops. No, they won't. No, they won't. No, they won't. No, they won't. What did you do to me? Sorry, I've been so inactive. I was at the circus. You need it home? In the future, you will stand at the grave of God, which I dug, weeping, and I will be the only creature you will be able to answer to. You will beg for death, but due to what you said today, I will deprive you of that luxury. Jesus Christ, somebody didn't like the Gotham. Looks at Sherlock. He's very small. Oh my, oh my God. It was me. Guys, this is the very first ever documented use of small. You're all a witness to language history here. The damage you have done to society. In this essay, I won't. Fuck you for coming to my TED talk. Oh, look, I found a summary of the entire Harry Potter series. Ah, oh, yes, of course. I haven't told you, said Dumbledore. That, <laughs> that's it. That, that, that's it. Every, everyone go home. Close it. Harry Potter's done. That, that's it. P.M., not sure if you'll see this, but please say Tony Chalk Alonely in the thickest New York accent you could possibly muster. <clears throat> I. Hey! Hey, you! You been to Tony's new chocolatier yet? Oh, yeah, man, I've been there. Tony's Chalk Alonely. It's the best fucking shit on the streets. Me taking yet another BuzzFeed quiz at 2 a.m. Please. Please tell me who I am. Oh, Lord BuzzFeed. Please! Grant me thy divine knowledge of the type of bread I am most similar to! Please! Content free. This is the future Tumblr wants. How... How do I... How do I read this?! So before we begin today's video, I gotta do one of those addendum things that I have to do. Apparently in the last video, I mistook the abbreviation RPF for roleplay fiction. As it turns out, by 50-some-odd comments, I was wrong. It's real-person fiction. To which I say... Andy, hand me the microphone. <coughs> ah, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> it's still pretty weird! What are you doing? Why do you want to do this with your mutuals? They're people you know! Just stop it! See the grass? Go touch it! Okay, moving on. As I pondered a pronoun change, I began to think of gender less as a scale and more as a landscape. Some people are born in the mountains, while others are born by the sea. Some people are happy to live in a place they were born, while others must make a journey to reach the climate in which they can flourish and grow. Between the oceans and the mountains is a wild forest. That is where I want to make my home. My Uncle Bobby, genderqueer.
That was beautiful. You know, you should be able to leave kudos on scientific studies. I liked your paper, dude. Keep at it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Doctor, dude. My brother tried to pick up a banana to make it look like he was talking on the phone, but all the bananas in the bunch came with it, and he just looked at me and went, guess it's a conference call. Mmm, A++ recovery. Don't encourage him. <sighs> Girls go games, dress up games to a picker obsession pipeline. Hey. How dare. Turns out 2020 was tw- <laughs> Jesus Christ, my brain. <laughs> no. Let's replay that one. Turns out 2000 was 20 years ago. Which is odd, because 1980 was also. The thing Gen Z really needs to understand is that no one older than them is ever going to be able to estimate time correctly because the millennium. The millennium will always be not that long ago. Everything since the millennium will always be, in some sense, new. It broke us, okay? It was too big and we'll never quite be able to deal. Was the real millennium bug inside us all along? Yes, and it created a generational 404. Writing prompt. There's a serial killer in your town. Unfortunately for them, you're a necromancer, and you have fun driving that maniac insane. Oh my god. Oh my god, I need this as a movie. I need this as a movie. If I have to write this movie, I'll do it. Andy, get Amy! We're writing this movie! Too many people prayed for the world to not end in 2012, and God panicked and start pulling out rough drafts. Bonus years, side quests, horror stories. He dug up his flop era and started posting it for all to see. You fangirled too hard and now Earth is running 10 seasons past a perfectly written ending, using unlikable background characters and resurrecting terrible plot lines. Congratulations! God! This absolutely isn't gonna happen, but imagine the Mario movie comes out and it turns out he can do a spot-on perfect Mario impression. And everyone on Tumblr gets so fucking mad. That would be pretty funny. Apollo is readying his dodgeball. I hope you're ready for what you've unleashed. You know, gay people will go out in public looking like fucking Willy Wonka and be too scared to ask the waiter for a refill. Look, man, I don't like when waiters have to do the job that I used to do, okay? Okay. Hey, you wanna do math problems together? Why, do you, do you need help with something? Yes, I'm fucking failing. How the fuck does trigonometry work? Okay, my friend just pointed out to me that where Dr. Facilier's shadow is, the wallpaper changes into crossbones. Hold up, what the? Andy, zoom in. Zoom in more. Zoom in more. Put up a skeleton. Oh, shit! An entire video dedicated to the random noises I make. So, I love my silly little internet friends. Hey, silly internet friends. If you see this, mwah, I love you. Girl, help, I'm having creation ideas above my skill level. Girl, help, I'm having creation ideas above my motivation level. Girl, help, I'm having creation ideas above my free time level. No, no.
all of the above. Bless the followers who tolerate your 95% fandom posts that aren't even their fandom. Gotta love their tenacity. Hey, how did you learn to write well? Well, first, you have to be a very, very sad child. Yeah. Staring at my laptop. You know, so very rude that a chapter isn't writing itself. Like, what are you expecting me to do to get the next part of my fic done? Actually using my fingers to type out words again? Ugh, the audacity. We're all just horses in God's plinko. Yeah. Hey, and all of you that hate mint ice cream, what happened? If you think I'm gonna eat frozen toothpaste, you are mistaken. This forces me to believe that you either had never had mint ice cream, or have never brushed your teeth. Which is it, Soft Connor? Which is it? Today on AO3, Jesus Christ slash Rainbow Dash. <sighs> Sometimes I think I've seen everything that AOE has to offer, and then shit like this beats me upside the head with a folding chair and steals all my money. Just as a reminder that I haven't seen anything yet. Guys, 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 I just had the craziest dream. I was trapped in a world of people who ship like this. Oh. <laughs> right. The best dynamic for a group of characters. Every single one of them is the weirdest person you will ever meet, but in wildly different ways. Every time you think you've identified the normal one, they casually reveal that they don't think birds exist, or they fist fight grizzly bears on the weekends, or they collect human skulls. And you realize again that none of these people are remotely normal. Also, they're round family. Alright, Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool is a big brother to Tom Holland's Spider-Man, but boyfriends with Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. He has a restraining order on Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. I wanna know why. Tumblr users have the same energy as Gotham citizens who refuse to move away after the fifth supervillain attack in a week. At some point, staying becomes a weird badge of pride. Alright, that's enough emotions for a whole year. Ciao! The earlier in the year you blog this, the better it gets. Guys, if 2222 falls on a Tuesday, it could also be known as Tuesday. <gasps> Dude! Write a story where the plot is based on some song lyrics. <clears throat> she was happy, and she knew it. The urge to show it overwhelmed her. She clapped her hands. Why does it sound like if Panic at the Disco did uh did this in their early days? Like uh, it's not my not my best branded impression, but she was happy and she knew it. The urge to show it overwhelmed her. She clapped her hands. She clapped her hands. Oh. Like that? Yes, tumblers are all about Blorbo from your shows, but true love is letting your dash be about Grumpo and Slimpit from your friend's shows. I mean, yeah. It makes sense. Behold, a cat and a lowercase cat. <gasps> baby! And baby. Actually, I love finding gay subtext and things. It's like seeing gay shrimp colors and straight people are never going to experience it. Suck it! In this world, it's yeet or be yeeted. Yeetin? You! Ah, lyrics that you miss here and find out the real ones and you're just like, Yeah, my version's better. It fucking smells like teen spirit, what the fuck? Anyone without a fireplace as a kid can relate to how horrific it was watching Santa liquefy and slowly ooze through the heating vents. I'm so- I'm sorry. What, 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 what did you say? <laughs> Andy, bro, you fell for my epic prank where I used my body to shield you from a fatal injury so that I could collapse into your arms and be held by you as you push my hair out of my eyes and tell me I'm gonna be okay and to just hold on in a panic voice while I laugh because I'm delirious from blood loss and tell you not to cry <laughs> even though we were both very much crying like, Andy, you got totally tricked, dude. <laughs> right? Right? Hey, why go to therapy when you can just touch grass? And eat grass. And lay in grass. And be grass. And grass. Is it... Is it a cheap shot to use the bit I used from last time? Andy, I'll let you decide that. At this moment, decide what you want to do. You can either put the video in or not. Go.
I fucking forgot I was mildly allergic to citrus and I just got some two fucking liter bottles of orange juice in 10 minutes. Hello me! I just realized orange juice and citrus sets are fuck! I hope they're okay. Listen, I don't shave my legs because the patriarchy conditioned me to. I shave my legs because wearing clothes over leg hair is the sensory equivalent of seeing something stuck between someone else's teeth and not being able to say anything about it. It's like being in a ball pit of fingers and daddy long legs. Once you feel that shit, good fucking luck on feeling it. Neurodivergent problems, God. Bro, I can't play horror games, man. What, fuck, what, what if I turn around the corner and see a thing or something? Legend has it, if you make it to the end of this video, and you turn around, you'll see all the disturbing fan art people have done of Phoenix, Roxanne, Wolf. You don't want to see it. You don't want to see it. Andy, don't turn the video around. Don't do it. Please, don't turn the video around. Oh, God, it's right there! <laughs> How the fuck do I make a person turn a video around? Silent Hill 2 live blog. Let's go. Ah! 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 Pretty scary. I have H-R-E. Hopeless romantic energy. I have H-R-E. Holy Roman Empire. hamburg -er. Right? Uh, I think I will rip a few things apart with my teeth and then feel better. Like a piece of paper. Snack bag. Gummy bear. Yeah. I just saw a picture saying do or die, and it literally translates to die or die. Do you want to die in Danish or English? <laughs> my starts nervously! Me, completely out of touch with my feelings, trying to describe an emotion. I feel, um, glittery? Buzzy? Like peeling my skin off? Are those normal emotions? Blorbo from my shows this, Scrimblo from my games that, what about OCs, aka Glunkus from my brains? Did... Andy, did Lizzie take over Tumblr without me knowing? Like... Writing prompt. While putting your favorite condiment on a sandwich, you accidentally make a magical occult symbol and summon a daemon. You silently take two more slices of bread out of the package and make another sandwich. You put it on a plate with a handful of potato chips and hand it to the demon. He takes the sandwich, smiles, and vanishes off in a puff of demonic smoke. The next day you get that job promotion you were after. There was no contract. No words spoken. You owe nothing. But every now and then, another demon pops in for lunch. Demons don't often get homemade sandwiches. That's precious. The real question is, how the fuck... Did Persephone only manage to eat six pomegranate seeds? They're like the fucking cocaine of fruit. You can't just eat like six singular seeds. You have to pop handfuls upon handfuls into your mouth at rapid speeds, and they get sad because you spent half an hour getting them out of the pomegranate and ate them all in five minutes. Uh, are you okay? Pomegranate. It's been a long time since I said it this way, so I'm going to say it just to piss off some mythology fans. Persephone. You have my gun. And my gun. And my gun! Please read the URLs, I'm begging you. Now you too can become the soft elf. <sighs> can I? Miss Yana's beautiful and smart. Hopefully she will allow me to. Snum, absolutely! H how do I look? The sweater's a little big on me and pants don't really work. At least it's comfortable. <laughs> my child, you look marvelous and perfect. Andy, look at them. Look at this baby! It's a baby! That's a baby. They took to it like a duck to water. They began naturally, almost effortlessly, and were immediately in their element. They took to it like a baby otter to water. Screaming! Certain they were dying, hating every minute of it, despite being perfectly suited to the conditions. AKA my childhood. Am I right? Alright. <laughs> Moving on. My brain is like, DO THE THING! And then my body is then like, I DID THE THING! And then after all that, I just depressingly fuck right off to my room and go to sleep until midnight because I am like a goblin and I need food. ADHD sucks, please fucking help me! I want realistic modern fantasy, like someone finding a dragon egg and live tweeting the process of trying to hatch it, with no prior knowledge on how a dragon egg should be hatched. A guy selling an enchanted sword on Craigslist. A tattoo artist who does spell runes, but for really mundane stuff like conjuring a bound demonic pen or for summoning your keys. Summoning a demon for the vine. Selfies with mermaids. And 
prank calling wizards. Give it to me. Well, hey there, you've arrived at a Tumblr checkpoint. Are you 30? Have a sip. Are you hungry? Have a spike. Have you been sitting in the sale proclation? Mac your tabas. Are you stick? Pert your indies. Do you need to prot a bundle? Go, now. Are you tired? Break your togs. Do a quick snap of your vitals. Are you fond? Do you need to reduct your plandals? If you have a trick, tog it. If you need to sitch, go so. Are you grot or too trinkling? If you need to break off a grant or mend the bundle, go do that now. I hope this helps, and I hope you have a wonderful day. <sighs> What's the... What? What is happening? What? 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 So because the last few videos I've been screaming constantly, I decided with this one, we're going to do a nice calming voice to calm everyone down. So grab a blanket, close your eyes, and just embrace the calming madness that is Late Night Tumblr. That's right. I love tags. It's like muttering under your breath on the internet. Except you didn't put any tags. And you put a tag underneath this, whatever I'm about to mutter. Baloney. Eggnog. Yeah. Have you ever looked at a cartoon show with a story arc and an interesting villain as well as lots of epic potential that's barely touched by the writers and then said, You could have been so much more. Yeah. Bad Mario joke. What if Mario gets the mushroom and it was drug? <laughs> Good Mario joke. What if Peach was red and green colorblind? That's why they gotta put the letters on their hats. Far out. Girly, you can't give up now. You don't have the dark green couch of your dreams yet. Go get that couch. Wish I were a cat. Play in sun. Stretch. Sleep. And purr. Purr. All right, that was a little disturbing even for me. Still can't believe sheep sea slugs look like that. Let's just look at it. Look at it. Unbelievable. He has a Webkin's cow face. I'm crying so hard. Here's a fun Christmas idea for next year. Hang mistletoe, but instead of kissing, you have to fight whoever else is under it. Mistlefoe, trademark. Make this a thing so I can deck someone in the halls. You know, I think if you want to eat white chocolate, you could just eat candle wax instead and not even notice the difference. Well, you're just mad that I'm eating this delicious white chocolate and you're not. Oh my god. This isn't white chocolate. Oh, God. Just to annoy Hermione, Luna pretends that she doesn't believe in birds for a solid month. Luna would. Hey, if Marx was real, what would his Tumblr URL be? If Marx was real. Ah, yes, the eternal game of Kirby fan or deluded communist. My favorite thing to do is to tell my friends about the wild things Victor Hugo did and see the look of shock and horror in their faces because they only know him as the great author who wrote Les Mis and Hunchback and not as the man who gave his fiance a live bat in an envelope. He, he what now? Radiation's insane. There's like rocks out there that'll pull the seams of your organs apart if you stand too close to them. I mean, some rocks really do have auras. Unfortunately, the aura is eat, shit, and die energy. Oh, the masculine urge to put on that one dress I like and disappear into the woods. To become a thing of local legend whispered about at night over a campfire. Hell yeah. You ever just look at your pet and go, holy shit, there's a little beast moving and doing things of its own volition. In my home. And you must feel that way with Kimiko, right? Affirmations. I'm a cool bug. I'm not gross. People who find me want to show me to their friends. I feel a valuable role in the ecosystem, and macro lenses will not harm me. Far out. That's right. And that's the end of this little calming video. There's no screams at the end of this one. I wouldn't do that to you. In fact, you're probably feeling your eyes close right now, and even the video's getting a little sleepy. Andy, you can see it blinking, don't you? Slowly trying to stay awake. Oh, 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 there it goes. There it goes. Night and night, everybody. You know it's probably 12 p.m. when I post this, but who cares? Far out. See the grass? Go touch it! Bitch, we're in hell! There is no grass! So before we start today's video, uh, Andy's sick, so I'm editing today's video.
everyone give your thoughts and prayers to Andy and hopefully he feels better. I mean, he's, just, he's, he's got his drugs. He's good. Anyway, let's do this like it's early 2021. Oh, dear God, I don't want to go back to that. No. Power armor is basically a fursuit for people who want to be robots. Just, just shut up. Sorry if something I post shows up for you based on your likes. Believe me, I didn't want to be there either. Same goes to YouTube community posts. I'm a creative person. And what have you created? Problems. Heavy from TF2 is just basically a Russian Mr. Incredible. Fight me. Hello, welcome to my blog, which has a lot of things, including content and characters. Look at all this content and characters and characters and content and content and characters and content. Now the female bottom surgery could be referred to as ding dong ditch. I guess. Listen, people are starting to realize Tumblr isn't dead, so we all need to be as cringe as possible for the next few months. It's vital to our survival. You don't understand. You don't understand. The horse Plinko joke is not working. Hopefully this next bit will do it. Gregory, do you want to join a Zoom call and play Among Us, Gregory? Gregory, answer me. What do you mean Among Us is cringe? That's pretty sus. Living in the suburbs is like mall, movies, mall again, go to Target, go to GameStop, back to the mall, Barnes and Nobles, back to the mall, Chili's, back to the mall, eat hot chip, lie, and I'm sick of it! I'm sorry, God, please can forgive me. I would give anything to go to Barnes and Nobles and the dinner at Chili's with the lava mountain cake. Please, Lord, take me back! I'll never complain again! No, 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 no. It's too late. You fucked us all over. All because you didn't want to go to Barnes and Nobles again. How dare you? You know what? Fuck you! Bad New Year! <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. Oops! A post for the bitches that used to get in trouble for reading under the desk during class in elementary school. This one's for you. It's interesting how we channel music became shorthand for millennial existential despair. It was supposed to be cheerful and quirky, but as the me's are symbolic of ourselves, they inherited our agony! Uh, as someone who didn't have a Wii, are you guys okay? No. Well, hey there! You reached the Tumblr checkpoint! Oh god, not again. Make sure to properly EB your DBs. Girl will not be tolerated. All glory to Glup Shitto. Avoid Scrunkly and Scrimblow at all costs. And please, for the love of God, don't let the horse out of the Plinko. Don't do it. If I find out you did it, I will come find you. And I will. Trample you like a horse in a hospital! Hey. Notice me, senpai? Delete this off the internet. Now! Emotionally, I have little pink hearts floating around my head like a cartoon character who's in love. Yeah. If I die, taxidermy and put me in a funny little outfit like those mice on Etsy. Do it, you won't. I think it would be very funny for, like, characters in a fantasy setting to walk into a pub and try to order, and the bartender sighs and goes, <sighs> Species and age, while pulling out a massive book holding the drinking age for every type of species capable of purchasing alcohol. Oh my god, Andy, write this down. The host at our Airbnb has the most talkative cat! Um, that is the host. Guys, they're putting all kinds of stuff in a sandwich recently. Check it out when you have the chance. It's gonna blow your mind. Open world sandbox game taking place in a single hallway. The back rooms. You're literally thinking of the back rooms. Hey, what are the strongest days of the week? Saturday and Sunday. The rest are weekdays. Stop on following me! I am normal about characters. Said while gripping sink staring into mirror. I swear, cosmic wonders make sense! Right, Andy? It makes sense, right? Writing prompt. The legendary sword of power was lost in the final battle, shattered into many pieces. Thousands of years later, its broken shards ended up in the recycling plant and repurposed into mundane, everyday items for the modern family. I... I need this. Oh, ew, 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 ew! What happened to the desktop layout? Why are the like and reblog buttons miles apart? Social distancing. Once I was babysitting my neighbor's six-year-old and she asked me why I was so ugly, and without thinking, I said, I'm you from the future. 
and she cried for like 30 minutes. Congratulations, your subconscious thinking scarred a six-year-old for life. Hope you're happy. All straight people ever have died. So heterosexuals, you might want to reconsider your decisions. Straight? Straight. Straight? Straight. Straight. They'll never find the body is a boring threat. Threaten that they'll never stop finding the body. They'll be recovering pieces of you for at least three months. You'll be alive for at least two of them. Fuck, that's terrifying. Bro, bro, you better shut the fuck up before I look at you one day and feel warm and realize I've fallen in love with you, bro. I'm serious. Quit it, dude. You, dude, just, just stop it. It can't happen. Right? Right? So I got paired with a super hot guy for a project in my criminal justice class. And he just came up to me and said, Oh my god, you know what we are? We're partners in crime. Get it? And then we both change each other's contacts and our phone to partner in crime. And now, I kind of want to marry him. Nearly three years later, I got him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is the cutest thing ever. Andy, stop the video, this is too cute. Medieval times? No, you heard me wrong. I'm from the medieval times. Just right in the middle of the worst time ever. Guys, I need happier than a necromancer in a natural history museum to become a known phrase immediately. Sir, if you touch the fossil exhibits, I will personally kill you and then bring you back. Because that's how I roll. Wait, am I the necromancer or the god in this? I don't know. Hello, White Mutual. Before you is a charcuterie board with 15 different types of cheeses. If you manage to go 12 hours without touching the cheeses, you can leave this room. Good luck. Hey, I'm getting off this cool cheese plate while you're talking. Can you repeat that, please? Oh, God. She's really good. Andy, come over here. They got Wesley Dale. I'm just crackers about cheese. Bruh. Neil Gaiman, you're still alive? No, this is a haunting. From here on out, it gets really scary. Another strong contender for the most Neil Gaiman thing posted by Neil Gaiman. If anyone was hunting Tumblr, it would be him, let's face it. <coughs> I'm right here. Sometimes it blows my mind that there are people that don't wear glasses and contacts. Like, they can literally see with no aid. Like, they wake up and just be out here seeing. What a wild concept. People say stuff like, lol, don't you hate it when you look up in the middle of the night and see a spider on your ceiling? Like, bitch! I could have Nicholas II, last czar of Russia, hanging from my ceiling fan and I would be none the wiser. Super who lock this, Hannibal fandom that. You're all so focused on reviving old tricks, you're not even noticing our strongest card in this fight to keep Tumblr cringe. It's time to release the Eddie Venom shippers. Uh, Eddie Venom shippers aren't cringe? We're right? Eyes, lungs, c**ks. So many snacks, so little time. I just want to steal fictional men's gender. Is it too much to ask for? Hello everyone, this is Snom. I'm here to let you know that it's all going to be okay. If not soon, then in the future. Poison hurts until you take the time to stop and treat it. Have a great day slash night. Thank you, Snom. Bless you. Well, rip to everyone killed by gods for their hubris. But I'm different. And better. Maybe even better than the gods. Hey, why is there a storm cloud floating above me? But what can you actually do with a degree in insert subject here? Well, write fan fiction with a high degree of accuracy in a very specific field. Next question! I think Tolkien ghost wrote this. I shall take that as an incredibly strong compliment. New Eminem redesign? Ugh, bitch! You just put sneakers on them. Also, the brown one still has pumps, and the blue one still has his old shoes. You didn't redesign shit. Fuck you, Mars. A marine biologist I know signs his emails off with best fishes. And this pleases me enormously. There are many benefits to being a marine biologist. Dude, you're making this vivisection really difficult. Can you just, like, stay still? Wait, what the fuck happens in Danny Phantom? LP, was this not about Danny Phantom? Because if not, fucking wild. What? WHAT THE FUCK HAPPENS IN DANNY PHANTOM?! Me. I'm going to write today. Also me. I'll keep all my ideas for plots and characters right here, and then one day, I'll die. <sighs> me today. HA! <laughs> Relatable. Hey, what's the saddest meal you can think of? <sighs> this one. Cheesy peasy. 
Dude, this dish looks like the living embodiment of depression. All right, listen. Gay farmers are not for the consumption of capitalism. They're for the consumption of the cheese made by my she-they neighbor's goats in exchange for the tomatoes and basil I grew. For anyone curious as to whether or not you can make spaghetti in a tea kettle, the answer is yes. You are the future. Ah, oh, spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> Andy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is attached to the video. <laughs> that is treason! <laughs> Any kiss could be the kiss of death, depending on the severity of your allergies and what your kissing partner has been eating. Or if they had a knife or a tongue. Yeah, or if they had a knife or a tongue. Cats are so fake, like they're theoretically related to apex predators, and yet they weigh 8 pounds, sleep 20 hours a day, and scream if you feed them half an hour later than usual. I deeply sympathize, because I also like to sleep an unreasonable amount and yell when I'm hungry. Incidentally, you are also an apex predator. Purchased a Sans Undertale plush from my classroom. I've been torturing my students by pretending I don't know who he is. The look of pain on their faces when I tell them his name is Sam is worth every dollar I spent on him. <laughs> Your Honor, it was just a feminine urge. Your client sent the entire mall on fire. I wonder how many people are going to use this image to explain Vanny from Security Breed. So disappointing to hear people poke fun at Apple fanboys. There's nothing wrong with enjoying a nice honey crisp. I prefer them sliced. Yeah, no one tell them. Why are there so many posts about asexuals being immune to sirens? People, sirens don't lure you in with sex, necessarily. They sing about whatever it is that you want most. They could sing about Mothman or Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and guess what? Then your asexual pirate is fucking dead. Damn, you right. I just can't resist Mothman. Fuck. Ate one day go by when I'm scrolling on this site that I don't go, I'm not reading that shit. <laughs> No offense, guys, but that's literally, like, majority of the submissions that I get that are, like, three images long and, like, nine threads going on at once. No. Don't have the brain power. New favorite joke! A Roman walks into a bar, holds up two fingers, and says, Five beers, please. I, I don't get it. No one explain it. Hey, which way does a cyclops wing their eyeliner? Tumblr using Greenhouse is asking the real questions. It doesn't matter, because nobody's going to criticize their makeup. What? Was that... Was that a motherfucking Odyssey pop? Why does this old picture of MatPat look like the human equivalent of the Doge image? It also just feels weird seeing that this is the original photo. The thing he keeps manipulating. It, it's this. It's this image right here. How? How? Hey, anyone available to go scream in the woods with me? It's fine, free, and the trees like to gossip about it afterwards. Now this is the kind of socializing I'm comfortable with. Every day I aspire to be insane, flirtatious, androgynous, and violent. Just like Bugs Bunny. I fear the day that someone tries to sell a Tumblr post as an NFT. I want specifically this post to become an NFT. If someone sells this post as an NFT and doesn't buy me a literal house, I will break my no curses rule and send a POX to your home! How is Boku no Hero Academia anime of the decade? They aren't even anime of the hour of the minute of the second! The notes on this post were so toxic that staff just axed them. Damn! I regret to inform you, I'm hashtag also trash. You ever just click on a fanfic and read the first word and go, SHUT UP! And exit? I'm surprised no one has actually sent a response post to this going, yeah, my fanfic. Why must birds be so damn loud? Because they're birds, Richard. Will someone tell them to shut it because my broom is not long enough to shoo them away? You can tell a lot by a woman's hand. For example, she has hooves. Horse. I'm watching a documentary about rats and this guy's like, they say there's a rat for every single person in New York City. And I know he's talking about like population numbers, but it kind of sounds like he's trying to tell everyone in New York that they have an individually assigned rodent friend. And I think that's beautiful. I think we just got a glimpse into the sequel of Ratatouille. Which is still just Ratatouille, but there's a two in, in the title. You see it? Andy, put it, put it up if they don't see it. New term that's completely inclusive. Everybody on Earth. Wow. Wow, astronaut phobia never sleeps. 
The alien exclusion is off the charts with this one. Hey, what about those of us who are bodiless? You ever think about that? I want gay cafes. Like gay bars, except no drunk people or loud music. Instead, there's coffee and cinnamon buns and pleasant conversations. See, this is what we need. A non-alcoholic, non-sexual place for LGBT groups that is inclusive to younger people. I'm here, I'm queer, and I can't drink beer. Kinda weird that this doesn't exist, actually. Ugh, I fucking hate fruit flies. Literally, get out of my face, I'm not a fruit! <sighs> Wait. Uh, I'm curious as to what J.R. Tolkien's real name is, but I'm scared to find out that it isn't actually Jolkin Rolkin Rolkin. <laughs> Fucking hold on. Okay, I, I, can, I can do this, I can do this. <clears throat> Jolkin Rolkin. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, once more, once more. <clears throat> Jolkin, Rolkin, Rolkin, Tolkien. <laughs> Jolkin, Rolkin, Rolkin, Tolkien. It's fucking... <laughs> what the fuck? Before we begin today's video, it's a... It's a very special one for Andy here. This is the 69th video Andy has edited for the channel. So would you all please rise for one glorious... Nice. Nice. Okay, moving on. Tonight, long sleeve got scrunched up while putting on jacket. Three dead, ten injured. More at eleven. Bird fact. Everything on Earth is either a bird or not a bird. I mean, I mean, it's right. It's right. Diversity win! The snowstorm keeping you from going to work is bisexual. Look at it. Beautiful. They're more than horses to me. They're horses! I've never held hands with a boy before. What if I get pregnant? What if he gets pregnant? Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. What anime is this? Hey, thank you, nature, for pre-slicing oranges for us. You didn't have to, and you did it anyway. That was cool of you. Are you living, or are you just jumping from one obsession to the other to run away from yourself? What are you, the coping mechanism police or something? Get out of here! Today I learned Judith Love Cohen, who helped create the abort guidance system which rescued the Apollo 13 astronauts, went to work on the day she was in labor. She took a printout of a problem that she was working on to the hospital. She called her boss and said she finished the problem and gave birth to Jack Black. You know, it's the last two words catch you like a chair to the back. It's also weird because... <laughs> I know one is to assume baby Jack Black, right? But my dumbass brain immediately went, wow, she gave birth to a full-grown Jack Black. Cool. But men! I would make an excellent goon. I'd be like, honey, boss, and then fuck it up instantly. I'm really whatever the opposite of a manic pixie dream girl is, like, depressed goblin nightmare man. That's me. Also, stimmy stuff, so love you, name. Is it weird how it's already February, but it's also only February? I see this post every February, and it always fucks me up. I think having a little dragon I could carry around in my pockets would fix all of my problems. Literally all of them. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Okay, so we all love hyperfixation, but does anyone else ever avoid certain things because you feel like you don't have the time to be fixated on that? Or that you aren't in the right headspace for this to become your latest obsession? I mean, considering that I said that about Legends Arceus, like, I would never have the time to play it, and then I just spent the previous 48 hours finishing it front to back. Yeah! Yeah, that's exactly what it was. One of the best kind of Pokemon designs is where they're just like an absolute blob of a creature. Like you made them with an ice cream scoop. And look who's in the middle. Our boy. Our bestest boy. Love you, Snam. Yeah, I'm a she-they. Unshe-they's my katana and slices you in half. I've been he-it. I now pronounce you dead. <laughs> was were. Gender isn't a game! Actually, gender is the game. And you just lost it. Son of a bitch! 
Uh, hi. Just wondering if I were an otter and you were an otter and we were sleeping, would you hold my paw so we wouldn't drift away from each other? Uh, I'm, I'm just wondering. I've come up with the phrase Blarbo-in-law, which is a fictional character who isn't like your Blorbo from your shows, but it is your mutual's Blorbo, who you nevertheless have developed strong opinions about due to the long-term Dash exposure. Okay, so my understanding so far of Blorbo, it's zero C's. Is that uh, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna slowly decipher this as we go, and as soon as I figure it out, they're gonna change Blorbo to something else. In every supernaturally themed series, you will encounter people who more or less seriously ask. Why does nobody use a gun? And I'd like to thank Whole Horse and Guido Mista for preemptively answering that in JoJo's by always managing to somehow shoot themselves. Just when I think I understand JoJo without watching JoJo, something more JoJo happens. Let me out of this sewer, man. I could be your best friend. I could be the best thing that's ever happened to you. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Bicol seals look like if you do so much as breathe a single molecule on them, they'll disintegrate into a small puddle of tears. They look like they make the laminated sheet wobble sound unprompted and constantly. They actually look like that emoji with, with the big sad anime eyes. Andy, put up the one. Hopefully you know the one. That's it. Wish my life was like a 90s movie where all my friends work in record stores and bookshops and coffee shops and we see really cool bands and small little clubs and get breakfast together and like hang out on roofs and shit. Man, why you gotta do this to me? I'm becoming a snake so I will never have joint pain again. See you losers later, I'm going to warm myself on a rock in the sun. King, do you know what snakes are made of? Like, huge mood, but they are joints all the way down, also. Well, team, it seems I don't actually know anything about snakes. Damn it. Thanks, Hank. You really taught me a lot about propane and propane accessories. And I'll tell you what, young man. I don't know what a heart of the cards is, but I know for certain you've got the heart of a Texan. This is exactly how Kingdom Hearts is like. Constantly opening and closing this app like a fridge. Guys, I'm officially diagnosed with bed too cozy disease. Just put a blanket over me and let me go to sleep now. Shit, I have more of these to do. Hold on. It looks good, so I feel good. And I feel good, so it looks good. Are two contradictory moods I have when wearing some outfits. And if life has taught me anything lately, it's that some truths can be contradictory and both still be true. That's why we have pretty clothes and comfy clothes, and they both slay. Are you gonna slay it? First off, I always slay it, queen. Secondly, yes. I really don't think there's a man more charming than Scar, to be honest. You are not immune to his good times. Okay, what I love about this is that based on who I reblogged it from, it's probably about Minecraft, but literally my only context for Scar as someone's name is the Lion King, and I still hard agree. I was about to say, this is weird to say about the dude from Full Metal Alchemist, but why not? Alright, let me just chime in for a second. Um, I don't know how many of you are playing the Disney gotcha game with the villains, but Andy put up the picture I sent you with Scar. Fucking damn! God, can you imagine if Donald Trump became president? There'd be like a new bubonic plague and he'd be like, Oh, I'll drink bleach about it. Yeah, throw back to when I took acid for the first time in 2013 and predicted the events of 2020 like the fucking Oracle of Delphi. Is it Delphi or Delphi? Whatever. <sighs> Being a kid was so fucking funny. We would just go around lying to each other's faces constantly to impress each other. One of my classmates told me he was the first person to visit the sun. And when I asked him what it was like to prove he was lying, he said he didn't remember because they sent him there when he was just a baby. And to this day, the mental image of NASA launching an unsupervised baby into the sun still cracks me up. Just... Uh, I kind of want to see this now. <laughs> Everyone, meet my Jar of Jars. His name is Jar Jar. 
And when you shake it, Cha-Cha clicks. Get out! The eradication of Adobe Flash dress-up games directly led to the creation of NFTs. Sure, I'll incorporate that into my worldview. Makes the most sense to me! Man, sometimes I think Tumblr's insane, but then through the walls of my glass house, I catch a glimpse of what goes down at fandom Twitter, and I think to myself, I'm glad that this health site is my prison, actually. <laughs> Dandelions symbolize everything I want to be in life. Fluffy and dead with a gust of wind. Unapologetic. Hard to kill. Feral. Filled with sunlight, bright, beautiful in a way that the conventional and controlling hate, but cannot ever fully destroy. Stubborn, happy, bastardous. Friends with bees, highly disapproving alons, and full of wishes that I will be carried far after I die. Man, that was beautiful. If you were a mouse and you wanted to change the subject, you could say, Squeakin' a witch! Get out! One April Fool's Day, Fred and George decide to play the ultimate prank doing absolutely nothing but pretending like they have. By midday, most of Gryffindor house is on edge. There's an alternative universe where it's socially acceptable to eat oranges like an apple. Wait, wait, wait. Were we not supposed to do that? Andy, help me out here. Was I not supposed to be doing that? Why are you an adult person below five foot seven? So I can stand up on my tiptoes to kiss tall women. So my face gets directly shoved into man titties when hugging him. God knew that if she made me any taller, I'd reach directly into heaven for her throat. Ah, three types of people! Please, this hell site is my home. I can't imagine ever leaving it. Where else will I post gifts? No one will reblog. Where else will I get wrong information from 20 people at the same time? No! No! It's 2007. You're working on a PowerPoint for school. It's about ancient Egypt. You select the papyrus font. Yes. Perfect. Clichés are bad. Okay then, explain showing up bloody or bruised outside your enemy's door because you didn't know where else to go. Explain that to me. Look, you can't ship that, it'll never be canon. Look, when I was your age, we shipped characters who never even met in canon. Uphill, both ways, in the snow. Cliché, but classic trope. When the person who's almost dead wakes up in a hospital bed, looks around, and sees the object of their affection sleeping uncomfortably in the chair next to them because they haven't moved in days. You can pry that trope from my cold, dead hands. Cliche but classic subtrope over this. The person who almost died tells the object of their affection, you look like shit. Despite the fact that they are the one in the hospital bed and almost died. Do not let a woman who decorates her buttocks deceive you by wily coaxing, for she is after your granary. Some oddly specific advice from Hesiod, C700 BC. All right, but Hesiod, which thick girl hurt you and stole your grain? Andy, quick, hide Seattle. It was, it was her. She did it. She did it. Quick, hide her. No one must know. Hey, 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 hey. You kick Blarbo? You kick Blorbo like the Plinko? Oh! Oh! EBDB for Glub Shitto! EBDB for Glub Shitto for thousand years! I'm blaming all of you for the abominable fact that I can understand this post. I. I still don't know what the fuck's going on, man. I don't even want to scream for this one. I just. What are you doing to me, Tumblr? Okay, we've talked about this meme long enough that. I actually had to go look it up, because I finally wanted to know. I didn't understand it, but here we go. What is the origin on the Blorbo thing from Tumblr? Uh, Andy, <laughs> you're free to put in your own reactions as I read this description from knowyourmemes.com, because it exponentially gets funnier and more ridiculous the more I read it. So, here we go! Blorbo from my shows is a slang term for a person's favorite fictional character and is used similarly to terms such as Glub Shitto and Scrimblo Bimblo. Though initially intended as a mocking way to describe Tumblr fandoms, it began seeing more use among fandoms as it became popularized in early 2022. On December 24th, 2011, Tumblr user The Lustiest Argonian Maid made a text post that read, Bitches will be like previous tags, OMG on my post, and I check the Prague, <laughs> tags on it, and it's like Blarbo from my shows. 
The post gained over 11,000 notes in roughly two weeks. The original post has since been edited to show a disappointed-looking, gender-bent, Queen Harkinian image expressing the original poster's dislike of the meme that emerged from her post. However, unedited reblogs of the original post are still active on Tumblr. Reblog shown below. Over the following weeks, Blorbo from my shows began seeing use in nonsensical posts featuring characters from various mediums. For example, on January 7th, 2022, the Tumblr user John 13 Whitaker posted an example featuring a Star Trek character gaining over 3,400 notes in three days. Shown below left. Blorbo from my shows. The same day, user Napoleon Bonafarte or Napoleon Bonaparte, posted a reference to The Simpsons with the phrase gaining 198 notes in a similar time frame, shown below right. What's the matter, sweetie? Is Blorbo from your shows having difficulties? <sighs> Others commented on how Blorbo from my shows added to Tumblr's long history of making up words that became memes. For example, on January 5th, 2022, user Killing God posted a Bulba versus Kiki image comparing Borba to Plinko, gaining over 2,000 notes in five days, shown below left. Borba and Plinko. On January 9th, user plus uno anno posted a compilation of similar words Tumblr turned into a meme, joking that Tumblr's recent widespread tag ban inspired users to make up new words, shown below right. And those words are... And I quote, EBDB, Blorbo from my shows, Plinko Horse, Glob Shitto, and personal favorite, Scrunglo. So, for the, the too long, didn't read version of this, uh, person was making fun of Tumblr, Tumblr took the opportunity to turn into a meme, original poster got upset, and then Tumblr said, fuck it, we don't care, we're still doing it because it's funny. That's good old fashioned Tumblr right there, Andy. <laughs> Your brain okay? You doing good over there? Do, do you want a Sprite? You want a Sprite? I'll get you. Today's Tumblr video is brought to you by MILF. Man, I love fried rice. You're telling me, a man I love, fried this rice? I wish I was a cat. No school, no works, just meow meow. Every Tumblr mobile update just feels like they broke into my house and moved everything slightly to the left. Andy, for the rest of the post for this video, move everything by at least 10 pixels every time. Flip phones are just Zippo lighters for millennials. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Writing prompt. In a galaxy where humans are seen as small, cute, and infantile, a hardened terrain criminal goes into hiding on an alien world. He is soon found by a six-year-old girl who, not knowing who or what he is, decides to keep him as a pet. Didn't they already do this? I think they did. Not Lilo and Stitch. There was like another movie that similar situation, I think. I don't remember. Just a thought, but sometimes the true selves debate is really funny when you take a step back and look at it outside of the fandom perspective. Like, acting different in different situations is something we all do. Am I my true self on Tumblr? Am I my true self talking to my friends? Talking to my parents? The answer is no. I'm only my true self when I'm playing Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Every friend group needs a mom friend. Uh, no, absolutely incorrect. What every friend group needs is that one person who just happens to have a traffic cone on hand. Still fucking hate that bee free honey that's made from apples. Bitch, who you think sexed up those apples? A farmer, by hand, and with love and care. Wild bee still sexing him up when he's not looking. Old McCuckle had a farm. E -I -E -I <laughs> Andy, thank you for sending me this one. You're like six. They should come out with new flavors. Just in general. What do you think pilk is? A better question would be, which is the worst vegetable? And the answer is peas. Everyone can go home now. Cucumber haters in the tags going in the deepest pit of hell. Do you hear yourselves? Pathetic. 
It's broccoli. Not even cheese can help broccoli. You people are sick in the head. The correct answer is Brussels sprouts. My man! The only thing that fixes those is bacon. And that kind of ruins the whole point of a vegetable. Jelly jam is a gas. Let me explain. Solids have a fixed shape and a fixed volume. Liquids have a fixed volume, but not a fixed shape. Gas have no fixed volume and no fixed shape. Jelly has no fixed shape. Whatever you pour it into, that's its shape. And the reason it doesn't have a fixed volume is because it's constantly being eaten, going down in a mount. Therefore, jelly is a gas. Change my mind. You can find me on this. I will not change my mind. Look what I can do. <laughs> what? What does that have to do with me? No, no. He's got a point. You know, Tumblr should have a feature where if it's someone's birthday, there's a little party hat over their avatar so the followers can see if it's their special day. Tumblr, Twitter, I know you're watching. Maybe want to pass that idea along? Maybe. The greatest thing about Marvel is that now all of your favorite ships and headcanons are actually canon because of the multiverse. Like Doctor Strange hopping through that multiverse being like, wow, look at all these gay bitches. This is great. I'm using this argument now. Thanks. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You look beautiful today. I'm sorry for yelling, but it had to be said. Th thank you, Snow, but it isn't true. But thank you. You spend your life with yourself. You get so used to seeing yourself that you start to see the floss. But me? I've never seen you before. And trust me, you look beautiful. <laughs> we don't deserve snob. Died and came back as a cowboy. I call that reincarnation. Isekai, yay, motherfucker. I hate this site. I quit! This isn't necessarily an animal question, but do you have any facts about moral mushrooms? Mm. Delicious. But you shouldn't eat them. It's immoral. <laughs> Fellas, if you want to walk and talk with me, you better match my speed, because I have short legs and low stamina. No one bad thing to happen. I'm sorry, but bad thing gonna happen. Ah, uh, the reader-writer dynamic. <laughs> Sometimes I look at my D20, and I want to eat it. It looks so sparkly, just... Let me munch. Mmm, forbidden candy. Eating the chest pieces is out. Eating the dice is in. Eat the chest piece until you beat the king. Then get possessed and eat dice. Ghost Adventure Spirit Orb, you... You okay over there? Count, Dracula? Psst. Okay. One. <laughs> yeah, she's good looking, I guess. Not really my type. I like a bigger wingspan, like, oh, there we go. Page 236. Look at the plumage on that one. Mm, sweet Jesus. I tried to scroll past this. I just saw someone on the verge of tears in a Five Guys at 2 a.m. with a bunch of his friends, and one of them went, do you, do you want some water? And he said, Tony probably liked water and continued sobbing. Oh, poor guy got stood up. No! Today my dad said, Why do people binge watch entire seasons? It's not like you get a book and read it in one night. So I'm not convinced he knows anything about what I do in my free time. You know, I was going to make a list of people that annoy me, but I guess it was too long, so I decided to post a pic instead. Behold! <gasps> oh my god, I'm in the same photo as Tom Hiddleston. Ugh, my hair looks terrible. Can we do it again? I blinked. After nearly two years of near-continuous isolation from the global pandemic, I can say that the guy from The Shining was a bitch. I could do his job and try to not kill my wife and son. I haven't tried to kill my wife once, and I spend way longer going insane. Well, do you have ghosts and demons too? Being online is the same thing as being physically attacked by ghosts and demons, so yes! You have demons at home. What does that mean? M Mom, what does that mean? Hey, uh, are you a flirt? I am insane. Two fair men lie in water warm and slow. As brothers are they joined heart to heart. But Cupid hath not struck them with his bow, lest that be thought. They sit five feet apart. Fuck you. No, no, no. No fuck you. Andy, give this post a gold medal. They deserve it. Best post on the website. Flawless. You know, there's no reason you can't eat pie at every meal. 
They make fruit pies, vegetable pies, meat pies, meat substitute pies. I mean, pies easily cover 100% of your necessary nutrient groups. They even make cake pies. The only reason not to switch over to pie entirely is pie sucks. You were so close to a revolutionary thesis, and then you betrayed me and every citizen of good standing. Fuck you! You know, in general, I think New York is very good for my social anxiety, because no matter how much of a freak I'm being, I know it's probably not the weirdest thing people have seen today. Case in point, I felt bad about bringing my unwieldy luggage onto a crowded train, until the man sitting next to me pulled a live fish out of his backpack. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we, we, we do do that. We do do that. Ah, oh, yes, they call me No Q Jones because I post everything I reblog at once with no breaks in between and then vanish into the night for extended periods of inactivity. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of pet peeves, but I think the biggest one is when people say things like, Oh, it's such a small town, only 35,000 people. Like, bitch, my town has 200 people. You need to pick a new adjective. Yeah, according to Wikipedia, a small town is 1,000 to 20,000 people. So although you are correct in stating that 35,000 people is not a small town, it is a large town, you are incorrect in thinking that you live in a town. You live in a village. You are a villager. I... I don't know what to do with that information. A, a, a villager. I know how to fix this. Andy, slide over Isabel to that. Look at that, see? Now you're a villager, you get one of these. And they're pretty cool. That's a good looking dog right there. Just give him a little pat. Yeah. Nice. No yelling at the end of this one. Unless Andy wants to. Oh, your favorite characters aren't dead if you AU hard enough. <laughs> Shout out to whoever stole my Amazon package containing nothing but a single pair of shoelaces. I'm so sorry to hear about that, Mr. President. Hey, do burbs have feelings? Kinda, sorta. Feelings? Sure, probably. Souls? Absolutely not. I didn't know drones had souls. The child of a mermaid and a centaur has a one in four chance of being a normal human. And a one in four chance of being a seahorse. Ah, oh, I'm glad we remember our Punnett squares. Our DNA contains millions of years worth of software updates. Nah, man, your DNA contains millions of years of totally random bugs. Some of which don't really change anything, some of which are really bad and annoying, and some of which miraculously make the software work better. So I'm a Bethesda game. Is it a bug or a feature? Yes. I crave the most innocent parts of a relationship, like holding hands and forehead kisses and being able to tell someone how much I absolutely adore them and absolutely slaughtering them at Mario Kart. Hey, if fine exists in the MCU, does that mean the how did you take down Captain America? We shot him in the legs because his shield is the size of a dinner plate and he's an idiot. Vine also exists and has Steve seen it? Not only has Steve seen it, it's his favorite Vine and his ringtone. People who have never lived outside of a city writing these rural American Gothic posts like Goats No Secrets. Girl, the goats don't even know how to get the horns unstuck from the fence without my help. Fact. Hey, when do you feel the most beautiful? When the dog pulls on his leash on the sidewalk because he wants to come say hi to me. <laughs> I never felt so loved. Yo, there's a fucking furry at the mall? What the hell is an Easter bunny? Church sanctioned persona. Wow, people really just write a horror story and then be like, okay, but what if this was a song? Is this a self call out post? No, actually, I was talking about Lemon Demon. Wait, the. the singer Lemon Demon? Or the thing from the Friday Night Fuki song that's, uh, not really a lemon, according to the dev, but who cares? Confidence! A fool substitute for intelligence! Is one of the rawest lines I've heard in a while. And it comes from the live-action Sonic the Hedgehog movie! The entire Sonic franchise is filled with incredibly killer and raw lines for some reason. For instance... If the world chooses to become my enemy, I'll fight like I always have. Is spoken by Shadow the Hedgehog. The fuck? Damn. Technically speaking, there is a lot of food in this house. However, none of it is sweet, and none of it is microwavable. Therefore, there is no food in this house. Yeah. Day one of eating every single pill-shaped rock that I find. Update. I feel stronger. I'm heavier. I can lift larger rocks. 
Update, I feel weaker than ever before. A quick checkup. Have you drank water recently? Are you sitting up? Have you eaten enough? You need a hug? Yes. Yes, I do. Andy, make me hug Snom, please. I need it. Ah, that's the stuff. Today I learned prehistoric hunter-gatherer tribes had an average group limit of 50 people. Incidentally, modern research shows that in video game World of Warcraft, maximum group player cohesive occurs at a limit of 50 players. So literally no difference between cavemen and WoW players. Guys, what if Mike was short for Mikesicle? <sighs> you know, every now and then there's a text post that gets stuck in my damn head. And here it is. I'm never going to be free of Mikesicle. Hey, what if bike was short for bikel? Oh my fucking god! First rule of writing is hoard notebooks. The second rule of writing is we do not write in our notebook hoard. So it is written. Just not in any of the notebooks. Pulling out an earbud when someone enters the room is the 21st century's ultimate sign of respect. It's the modern equivalent of taking off your hat. You just do it. I want that heat miser's head on a pike! Gotcha covered. Alright, well, <clears throat> you did follow the instructions given. <laughs> My favorite video game quest trope is, Help us, they are stealing our ancient artifact. Thank you for helping us. As a reward, you may have our ancient artifact. The ancient artifact was less important than having agency in its distribution. Nothing is more important than keeping it out of the hands of the British Museum. But you also just gave it to a dude who's likely going to sell it to buy the sword he wants. Just saying. Animorphs say you where every time they morph, they do a Magical Girl-style elaborate transformation sequence. And a Magical Girl series where every time they transform, they do the horrific Animorphs morph. I need this. Especially since there's a new Tokyo Mew Mew coming out, I kind of want to see this be the transformation sequence. Turning William Afton into a sexy man, then slowly switching over to Michael Afton is the biggest redemption arc Tumblr has ever went through. Andy, I apologize for all the cringe I'm going to say in advance because of all the knowledge I have for this series. Okay. Tumblr, you're going to look me in the eye and say you had a child murderer as a sexy man, and then you switched over to his son, who is, and I quote, a purple, boneless, organless husk. Because his guts got scooped out by the haunted animatronics that the first guy killed. And not only that, I've seen you, Twitter. I've seen you. You're shrimping over Vanny, who is also, and I quote, a child abductor and murderer. I actually had to add this in in the middle of the video. Okay, I also know I'm gonna, probably going to get a comment that's going to say, Well, Vanny's actually possessed by William Afton, so technically she's not the one murdering the kids. It's still fucking weird. Okay? Okay. You doing okay? I'm going to lose, like, probably half of my subscribers over that. Whatever. Pokemon trainer that shouts, GET HIS ASS! Every time they order the Pokemon to attack. <laughs> that's me, I'm the guy. Oh, gender reveal came back negative. I just exist now. Sweet. I eat 15 apples for breakfast, then drive myself to the hospital just to watch the doctors get blasted backwards in the drywall, because they cannot withstand my aura. Yeah, I'm gonna watch Doctor Who in chronological order by the time period they travel in. That is the worst idea I've ever heard. I love it. Yo, why are you tagging things Alcoholics Anonymous? <laughs> Ace Attorney?! I don't know what little cat needs to hear this, but it is not dinner time. You are not going to starve, and it'll be okay. I just told that to Piff, and uh, she looked at me like I was a fucking liar. Being able to teleport must suck ass when you have ADHD. Why the fuck am I in Nevada? You don't need drugs to have a good time. Do you expect me to believe that drugs were not involved here? Like, <laughs> look at the person on the right's face. That is... There's definitely drugs in that system right now. No offense to the people on this site, but what the fuck is wrong with everybody? So many things, Drizzling Tears. So many things. Conspiracy theory. All the school kids know Zim is an alien, but Dib's so annoying and full of himself about it that they pretend to be clueless to piss him off. You. You get it. 
I want this to be canon now. Why is it not? Oh, well, unfortunately, I didn't end it on a scream, so I'm going to have to fix that with the thing that we do, Andy. Are you ready? I really don't know how to end this. <laughs> so I'm just whatever the whatever the noise is I make, just we'll just end it there. You ever just want to be a little crow hopping on a tree? More than anything. Every day. You have no idea. Hey, I love you for still trying. Still breathing. Still living. And still existing. You got this. Spaghetti Spaghetti, I'm taking all your booty. I hate this one. Especially after the most wholesome thing I've read on Tumblr. Guess who ate, and then unate, what must have been most of a sock today? It wasn't even a good sock. The fact that she's got a cheesy smile on her face makes this a hundred thousand times funnier. Hey, does the PM in your name stand for Prime Minister? It stands for... <coughs> Guys, help, I haven't had my Adderall in two days and there's a milk-filled webcam being slammed against the walls of my mind! Twitter posts are nice, and can get you a lot of attention real quick. But if your Tumblr posts take off, then guess that shit is ingrained in the cultural hive mind forever. You can get 9 million retweets and everyone will give it a quick laugh. But I'll be 74 years old, and I'll still be thinking about Randy, your sticks! Same. If y'all be nice to me, I'll stop being evil. Maybe. But I'll tell you who's not going to stop being evil. And that's right, our editor Andy, who's hosting a Twitch channel right now called Evil Doers. You can check it out in the link below, right there. We hunt monsters sometimes. It's pretty good stuff. Describe your handwriting without using the words messy or neat. This makes me feel like I lost the ability to read. I swear to God, nothing makes me more pissed off when everyone is like, <laughs> The thing is so good, it's a classic, you love it! And they say it so often that you resolve on principle to loathe the thing with your entire being. But when you finally get around to experience the thing, it literally is that good. Physically trembling with rage at the fact that Hamlet actually is one of the best plays ever written. I mean, guys, seriously, it's really good. Have you seen the monologue? Have you seen the Hamlet monologue? It's about existential crisis. It's pretty good. Ah, this is how Max are born. How the hell did you even get that many mice? I don't know. Leave cheese out? Only 1% of the population is asexual. Well, 7 billion times 1% is, uh, 70 million. So don't speak to me or my 70 million friends ever again. And that's only the people who have out of themselves as asexual. What about the closeted ones? Or the ones that don't quite know it yet? sleeper cell agents will come find you and we will take all of your french fries watch out hey snow opinion on snow amazing spectacular wonderful <gasps> pretty d d does mace work on birds if Aaron is attacking me will mace be an effective deterrent it is a time sensitive question play with swamp the serotonin is stored in the ao3 yeah, I don't know about that one, man. Describe your personality. Okay, which one? I got like... 20 of them. I will not download TikTok. If a TikTok is funny enough, it will breach containment and make its way to another platform. It's quality control. Sure would be a shame if a uh, TikTok video snuck into the video right now. I'm just kidding. Where am I? If you wouldn't go to someone for advice, don't take their criticism either. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa! Opie woke up and chose logic today, and I don't know how I feel about that. So I had a dream that I was in the Avengers film during the Battle of Manhattan, and I was wearing a Captain America shield shirt, and I bumped into Captain America. I looked at his shirt, he looked at mine, and I looked him dead in the eye and said, well, one of us is gonna have to change. 
People just don't understand that my messy room is an allegorical art piece, representing mental illness and a reference to the hit 2004 movie Hell's Moving Castle. You know, for some people, life doesn't truly begin until they're like 26 to 30. The way we romanticize and obsess over youth is like super harmful. Your life is not over at 21. I promise you. It's just beginning. So relax. Please. I am the shyest attention whore ever. I want attention! If you're not busy, and you want to. It's okay if you don't. Today I learned in 2009, Burger King ran the Whopper Sacrifice Campaign, which offered a free hamburger to anyone who deleted 10 friends off Facebook. Facebook suspended the program because Burger King was sending notifications to the cast-offs letting them know they'd been dropped for a sandwich. No, they should not have banned them because Burger King's a good friend who runs to those 10 people and says that this friend is shitty. That they gave up those friendships for a fucking hamburger! I heard you like bad girls. Well, I'm bad at everything. Winks at you with both eyes. Do you think an android could just download games to play in their head? You see an android just staring at nothing and they're like, Oh, sorry, I was running a simulation and it was Doom. And there's only one way to find out. Andy, put up a Zuri. Zoom in on her head. Run Elden Ring. For you, however, you are maidenless. You know, it's funny how the most unappreciated character in Harry Potter is Harry Potter. I've never heard anyone answer the question, who's your favorite Harry Potter character with Harry Potter? Shit, they're onto something here. I can't help making bad posts. It's in my jeans. <sighs> this is what Tumblr does to me. I know the joke is jeans, but my brain also went, oh yes, Jean and A. Very good. The neurodivergent urge to over-explain myself during misunderstandings to try to avoid further misunderstandings, but then confusing people in the process, which does in fact cause, you guessed it, more misunderstandings. Yeah. You have been visited by the Rainbow Snom. You have now permission to be gay and lazy for the rest of the day. Oh, hell yeah. Andy, stop the video. Let's go play video games. Let's go. Hey, you guys want to see my new art? I don't get it. Bro, this goes hard. This goes so hard, bro. That was the best day I've ever been on. Is this a lawsuit? It was all a ruse. I'm here to wound sue you, not wine and dine you. You've been served. I've been working on this hat for you for an entire year. Hmm? Thank you. This is now the best thing I own. Bro, you gotta see this awesome Yu-Gi-Oh card! Mm hmm. Hmm? 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 Thanks for your order. While you're here, would you like an exciting offer with our credit card? Our introduction APY is 67%. You want me to open a line of credit at a hot dog stand? I'll throw in these chips. Hmm. They said my hot dogs are great. But my real passion is usury. And welcome to the first meeting of the Elf Eating Club. Rule one, we hate all elves. Except Deedlet, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, all elves except Deedlet. You must absolutely have this book for my class. If you don't buy this book, you will fail. I wrote the book, by the way. I think I want to be a welder instead. Yeah, welcome to trade school. Do you like hookers? Do I? Okay, Hood Mage, we convinced all the scalpers to move from PS5s to crypto farming. I don't see how this gets back at them for selling you a $2,000 PS5. I hope you're ready for Crypto Pearl Harbor. Let's go, B. Why are you masking up? Your name is on your shirt. <laughs> you yeah, gay. I have a pocket knife. I'd survive a zombie apocalypse because I'd have no hesitation to kill. I'd be a machine. Okay. Finally, the button that grants your dark wishes. With this, the guy that told me every day he was fucking my mom on Xbox Live in 2008 will die. Kevin, get the car! Your dad just fucking died! M mom, did dad ever have the username Boss Dragon 420 XXX? How, how did you find out? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, I need to use your bathroom. Hey, get out! I know what you're doing in there, your geo crystal started glowing! 
We can't publish your article of five guys you should sleep with in 2022. There's not even any information. You just put your name down three times and the other two guys are your friends. Well, I like my friends and think they should get laid too. Well, that's fair. Let's run the story. Got to tell the internet how I fail. Better upload a picture of me screaming. Hmm, not good enough. Better roll my hand over the fucking keyboard too. Hey ladies, Fertile Freddy is in the house. Freddy, dude, you can't go around introducing yourself as Fertile Freddy. Yeah, but the internet said if- The internet does not have your best interest in mind. Excuse me, but I think I'll take the opinions of Dr. Shitfuck2003 and the Griffman500. They know what's up. Lunch is on me, big guy. Pizza Lunchables. Oh, cool, I'll microwave mine first. People cook these? Mushy, mushy, boyfriend, you made his hair. Oh, thank goodness, there is so much to clean. I'm not that kind of maid. What kind of maid are you? A shitty maid that doesn't clean? You trying to scam me? Aw, oh, man, I got a scrape. Know what makes everything better? Butter. And how is that supposed to help? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Don't judge a book by its cover is a beautiful, powerful sentiment that I fully ignore when book shopping. It applies to everything except books. Yeah. Oh, the vibe to live in a giant tree stump house. I got no good tags for the post. Just, yeah. Hey, bestie, come closer. I'm totally not gonna drag you into my obscure interest, bestie. I promise. The cask of a Monty Blorbo. Imagine someone thinking of you and buying you flowers. Okay, now imagine a horse as a skeleton with a blue fire mane. That sounds cool. Open world Tetris. That's just putting away the groceries. If you think I'm gonna sit and watch a six to seven hour movie just because it's an exact replica of one of my favorite books with every single word and detail included, then you are absolutely right. Let me just make some popcorn and get some drinks. We're gonna be here a while, folks. Your Honor, in my defense, who cares? Like, OMFG, who cares? Like, come on. Just come on. Today I learned that the King of Prussia had a personal army of 3,000 tall men and admitted, The most beautiful girl or woman in the world would be a matter of indifference to me. But tall soldiers, they are my weakness. <sighs> that feel and short soldier. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, but McGeans, we respect short kings around here. You good. Hey, you think you're a better kisser than me? You think you're a better cuddler? Then come over here and prove it, Andy. I mean, bunk. I'm gonna deck your halls, bub. There needs to be an easier way to convey the idea of it's absolutely fine that you don't like this thing I like, and I don't even necessarily disagree with your reasons for disliking it. But I am sick to death of hearing your negative opinions about it! Seriously, we need a word for this. We don't have to make one up. Smorbo. Smorbo. Old movies are just gifts that people played music over to make it look... <laughs> Why is this true? Nah, man, I can't come over tomorrow. I'm gonna listen to songs and think about characters. Y yeah, no, it's gonna be all day. Yeah. A midsummer night's dream, but Oberon keeps Puck on one of those kitty backpack leashes. All right, stop. This is the best thing ever. I need to see it. I was cleaning my house this afternoon. How nostalgic it is to remember the past years, forgotten ambitions, broken dreams, ancient treasures, and the constant reminder that we are now adults. Fuck. I'm not sure why, but the words blessed be snom came to my mind and I thought I would share it. Hell yeah. Also, whoever submitted this, I like your gradients, G. You know, thinking about it, I'm pretty sure my ancestors would be horrified with me. Not because I'm lazy or unworthy or anything like that, but because one of my distant uncles was among the eight survivors of the Essex, the ship that inspired the ending of Moby Dick, and sank after being rammed by a whale. And what do I fucking do after my bloodline has this ordeal at sea? I get a fucking degree in marine science and go back the fuck out there! OP, it's your job to kill that whale. There are many benefits to being a marine biologist. I respect that fantasy as a genre has simply refused to standardize the spelling of fairy. Fairy, fae, fi, fair, folk, 
fairy, just an F followed by whatever vowels you have in your heart. Furries. Which really just sounds like the Boston way of saying fairies. Hey, don't go in that forest out there. You'll see a bunch of fairies. <laughs> Marge! Okay! Zootopia? Why? I don't know what the context of this is, and I'm mildly afraid to ask. The weirdest critique I ever got as a kid was when I made some time skip fan designs of some characters. Someone said, Um, didn't three years pass? Why is their hair so short? Did it not grow at all? <laughs> Nobody disagreed. And I realized they all collectively forgot. Haircuts exist. Yep. He's my comfort character! Then comfort him! He's drowning in indescribable emptiness right about now! No. He's not done marinating. Reaches for the angst. <laughs> you don't choose who you fall in love with or when. One day you're just spending time with someone, and suddenly you realize that the slug is watching. Oh god damn it, here we go again with more indecipherable Tumblr memes I don't understand yet! <laughs> hey! What are your pronouns? Oh, shoot. Uh, um, uh, I, I'm not home right now. Andy, could you water my pronouns for me? It's the he day ones over there in the corner. Yeah. And stop. Today I learned there is a species of fungus that only exists in Texas and rural Japan. And it is thought to have been in both places for 19 million years. Hmm. Turns people into cowboys or samurais depending on which place you're in. Well, that explains why cowboy movies and samurai movies are so similar. Too many books? I believe the phrase you're looking for is not enough bookshelves. Yes. You know, bisexuality ain't that hard to understand. Girls are cute. Guys are cute. What more do you want from me? I want your wallet. Even if you don't like Halloween, you have to appreciate its position as the sole thing keeping Christmas from advancing even further into the year like a cancerous growth. The goth kids hold the line. No, I'm not tired of being nice. And yes, I still just want to go ape shit. These things can coexist. Stop asking me. If I don't ever meet a cowboy who calls me darling and tenderly puts his hat on my head and offers a respectful hand to help me onto his horse, then what the fuck even is the point of it all? <laughs> I'm gonna go on a great cowboy finding adventure, BRB. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I sure did. You can and absolutely should modify the chore slash self-care task if it makes life easier. Sit on the floor while doing laundry. Clean dishes while in a chair. Sit in the shower. Save your spoons. Accommodate your fatigue rather than fighting it. Why have I never thought about this before? Hey babe, wake up. New incomprehensible Tumblr bullshit just dropped. PS5, Black Slug Reaction, Horse Blinko, Blorbo for my shows, Glub Shido, and EBDB. Seriously, what the fuck is Live Slug Reaction? You've heard of Be Gay Do Crimes, now get ready for Be Trans Throw Hands, Be Queer and Still Fear, Be Bi Go for the Eye, Be Pan End It With a Bang, Be Ace Punch Face. Bitches be like, I'm so tired and sleepy, and then stay up doing hyperfixation shit for the next five hours. Wait, no, 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 this isn't happening! A hundred thousand no! Not sure on what to say when the room is silent? Try doing a random animal noise. In my next life, I would like to be a lesbian couple's house cat. Why wait, though? Uh, excuse me? Demi boys need to speak louder. I can't hear them. I'm sure you've heard this before, bud. Do you tell jokes to make people laugh or to make people think you're funny, Bucket Show? Neither. I just say things that make myself smile. This is the best mindset. Hey, how many redesigns has each character gone through? <sighs> Too many. And I don't even like talking about the old designs anymore, so please stop bringing them up! You know, striking a blow against the capitalist fetishization of productivity by devoting enormous and elaborate effort to something utterly pointless. Who's in? Remember alls are the most useless things in the entire magical realm. They don't do anything except make you confused and upset. For those of you still wondering, Neville forgot his robe. Well, I can cross that off my list of random questions that still bother me. Oh my god, the sweet relief! 
I have tasted space! I can feel the power coursing through me! Oh god, I feel awful. I thought for a while that the gods were punishing me, but now I feel like it's something else. Something more sinister. It's me. A where nothing has changed, but the ad saw around is just one giant googly eye glued to the top of the tower. Okay, so this picture is good, but uh, I feel like we can go one step further. What if we just did an actual snippet of the Tower of Sauron with a giant googly eye on it? Oh, if only some sort of handsome, devilishly charming editor could possibly edit this for us for about five seconds right now. For Sauron will have dominion. Andy? I'm going to make a new font called Times New Bastard. It's Times New Roman, but every seventh letter is jarringly sans serif. Behold, Times New Bastard. With one line, you activated every bone in my body, and all of them are in attack mode! Earth, you are my wishing star. Here's how you look from my home on the surface of Mars. You are my wishing star is so romantic. Why is the Mars rover so slick? I am afraid of people who reblog things with no tags. Not even any identifiers like the show it's from or anything. Just silence. What are you thinking? Hello? No thoughts. Just quick reblog. I am not thinking. Well, you know what? Understandable. Have a good day. I love when the gender options are male, female, and prefer not to answer. Like it just reads as boy, girl, and hey, what are you, cop? I don't owe you anything. Beep, pop, bam. Look at the slam. Where's the lamb, OP? OP? Where's the lamb? You know, my favorite trope is janitor in headphones continues cleaning through extreme action. I've been the janitor in headphones and trust me, it's an act. We just don't want to be involved in the nonsense. Yeah, probably. I diagnose you with the weight of living. I'm sorry. You know, Tumblr's not as cringe as it used to be. I'm gonna start shipping bloggers. No, 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 stop. 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 No. Bad. Bad. And he hit him with the newspaper. Bad! Thanks to all the radio signals and noise that the human race is making, to an outside observer, the Earth is sprinting around the sun, screaming. <laughs> no wonder why the aliens don't want to talk to us. No, phone. I did not miss a call. I watched it ring the whole time. <laughs> I never make the same mistake twice. I make it five or six times just to be sure. Yeah. You know, some old fella came up to me at work and asked a question, only he didn't quite figure out if he should call me sir or ma'am. By the time he got to the end of his sentence and in a moment of apparent panic, he ended up saying captain instead. Absolutely made my day. Petition to call non-binary people captain. Worst part of original writing is getting hung up on your own lore. I miss fanfiction where I could look it up on a wiki and get five answers and ignore them all to make up my own thing because canon is stupid. To be frank, didn't OP like create a ludicrous amount of lore when they did write fanfic? Okay, let's not bring up the corporate structure of Wayne Enterprises into this. That's different because reasons. Okay, but didn't also OP make a spreadsheet of all the things that make Bruce Wayne sad both as a fic and as a reference? Okay, listen! Tumblr HQ setting up a lemonade stand to save the website. Tumblr's doomed. Unless we put on the best talent show this side of the internet has ever seen! Oh great, so it's just Sing, but Tumblr. Wait, 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 wait. If the horse is in the Plinko, and the horse is in the hospital, then the Plinko is in the children's hospital. And that's why there's color theory, hence the phrase, you can't beat a dead horse. I'm, I'm sorry, what? Why does this... Why does this make sense, but also not make sense? Fucking why? This post is brought to you by Killshare. Destroy the website of your dreams with tear space. Get the worst sleep of your life with the Hurdle Mattress. Send malware and DDoS attacks with Horde VPN. And shred your balls with Manscraped. <clears throat> Raid Shadow Legends. Was in London a week ago and I saw a global theater production company of Macbeth doing their vocal warm-ups and they were just standing on stage rhythmically shouting FUCK 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 at the top of their lungs in perfect unison for 30 seconds. So that's what's going on in the Globe Theater these days. Just thought y'all should know. Andy, can you go to the Global Theater and, 
you know, confirm this knowledge for me, or is, is that too much? Apologies for the warning, but there's got to be at least one trans woman named Eve out there whose dead name is Adam, and she is the funniest person to ever grace this earth with her presence. I feel so appreciated. <gasps> We found her! And you kill the fireworks and confetti! The unhappy end of many a popular novel is when it is made into a movie. The Daily Times, New Philadelphia, Ohio, July 9th, 1924. Man, the 1920s had it right. Yeah, just on that one... Probably just on that one thing, though. Do not attempt. <laughs> Listen, if I had the chance to race Godzilla on four-wheelers, you wouldn't be able to fucking stop me. I hate... The fact that art takes time. What do you mean I can't make a fully rendered piece in two to five minutes? Fuck this! I wish all the pee came out in one go like a shotgun blast. That would be absolutely terrifying to hear in a bathroom. You just go in and you just hear... Hey! Multiplies you by one. Ugh! I'm the exact same, but a process has occurred. I hate it! Actually, being silly is one of the greatest joys in life. If you see me in the street meowing back at cats I see and kicking snow piles down, know that I am living my best life. Yeah. Two asexual sitting in a tree. S-I-T-T-I-N-G. Please call the fire department, we're stuck. I love being a fan of media. Your favorite character shows up on screen or page and you're just like, <gasps> Hi, baby! Baby! Baby, it's you. I'm so proud of you. That is... Absolutely how I felt with Kid Cosmic. <laughs> Can't imagine what it's like to consume media like a normal person. To discover something you enjoy, go, oh, I love that, and then just move on and not spend the next six months of your life literally thinking about nothing else. TikTok is convincing too many hot people that they're funny. And they're not even hot, they're just white. <laughs> Sorry, this is just too good to say previous tags. A or Sienna is a set of quintuplets and they open a burger joint called Five Size. So their slogan would be five size burgers and fries. A three things are infinite: the universe, human stupidity, and my desire to buy new books. Yeah, it's a very good point. But also, whoever submitted this, why is the picture so crunchy? If you ever find a genie and you're really craving a dessert that looks like a this, do not say I'd like a lifetime supply of raspberry crowns. While this is in fact the name of the pastry. It's also the name of a species of wasp for some reason. The genie, being a nasty trickster, will no doubt give you a bunch of wasps. This is oddly specific post, are you okay? The problem with horror shows is that there's no men in little tank tops and booty shorts. But look at this. Peak character design. Dead by daylight, why are you sleeping on this shit? Character. Says I like bread that one time. Fandom. Character has an obsession with bread. Bread is character's true love. Draws character is bread. Every meta joke and fanfic is about bread. The character's room is wallpaper with bread. Remus Lupin didn't even eat the fucking chocolate. My mitochondria clearly aren't working because this bitch has no fucking energy. Mitochondria machine broke. Okay, so actually the funny thing is is that this post is basically describing what researchers now think is the underlying cause in chronic fatigue syndrome. As in, there is notable dysfunction in mitochondria. That means less ATP is produced, especially under stresses. Well, this bitch empty. <gasps> New Tumblr users, please remember this. Licking doorknobs is illegal on other planets. Remember that. Writing prompt. You have a pet cat. He eats a lot for her size. Then he just suddenly splits in two. Now you have two cats. That's not, that's not a writing prompt. That's just having a cat. Am I right? Muggleborns using Morse code to cheat on tests and passing notes in Tolkien Elvish so that teachers can't read them and they leave the ancient runes professor practically in tears because they feel like a failure. Now that's a juicy kind of evil right there. When I was reading the book in Tangled Life, which is about fungi, which I used to think was pronounced fungi, as it turns out, completely different, and the author Merlin Sheldrake said that once he got his first author copies, he was going to dampen the pages and use them to grow oyster mushrooms and yeast, and then use the yeast to brew beer and then drink the beer with the mushrooms to complete the cycle of fungal knowledge. I was like, really and truly, this guy gets it.
You know what, if there was a god or goddess for sleep schedules, they surely hate humans. Reason for this is that why humans are the only species that can actively say no to sleep. Honestly, with this knowledge, there's still one question I still have. That is, should I or should I not try to murder that god or goddess? Um... <laughs> Good luck trying to kill a deity, I guess? Me entering any museum. Man, oh man, I'm so excited to learn all the things! Also me. Gift shop, gift shop, gift shop! There are two dragons inside of you. One hoards knowledge, and the other hoards trinkets. They're both very excited when you bring them to a museum. KFC, aka Kitty Fucking Cat. Beautiful. Andy, run to KFC and get me two bags of that. He cooks up Kentucky Fried Chicken in his kitchen, then packs it up in his handy box. Oh, yesterday I saw two teenagers making out in the park. Reminds me of my teenage days when I used to see other teenagers make out in the park. <laughs> God fucking damn it, Jeff. <sighs> what is wrong with him? Hey, if anyone feels sad tonight, please hold this thought for a minute. The bees in my yard are now so familiar with my walking pace and usual route that they sometimes stop and wait for me to pass when our paths intersect. Polite bees. Thanks, I needed that. I have mastered the art of stressing out and not caring whatsoever simultaneously. My life is a constant cycle of pain and misery. Fictional man I tuck into bed and kiss goodnight versus fictional man I knock out cold in one solid punch. They're the same guy. Guy who doesn't understand the concept of restaurants. I want to go to Arby's house. I want to go to Taco Bell's house. You know what? Actually, fuck this. I'm going to walk deep into the ocean sea and never come back. Bye. Ah, uh, Pollo is such a raw line, and you'd think it comes from some Shakespearean tragedy, but no. It actually comes from Kirby. Wow. Boo, boo, boo. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but TV shows and books will crush your souls into a million little pieces. <laughs> you don't need to specify that a pirate is feral. Pirates are feral by definition. If it's domesticated, it's a privateer. I'm excited for bird-related reasons, but I don't know why! You gotta love how small puppies are like, I have no idea what's going on, but I think everything's going to turn out okay. And small kittens are like, I have no idea what's going on, but I'm going to fight you. Oh, to be a prince in the 1800s, wearing a loose white blouse, having tea with a knight I fall in love with. <sighs> Goals. I just want everyone to know, when I say evil, I really just mean villainous and campy, like a cartoon antagonist. Not, not an actual evil dictator sort of guy. No. New favorite conspiracy theory is that the lottery only exists to capture time travelers. I also now have a new favorite conspiracy theory. Hey, what would happen if a werewolf and a vampire bit a human at the same time? Turns them into a Furby! Uh, takes a screenshot. No matter how old you are, an empty wrapping paper tube is still fun to bonk someone over the head with. Seeing a cardboard tube activates the cane instinct. Bonk. Everything's so funny when you use the wrong measurement. Five gallons of homework. Mouthful of lint. Twenty degrees of fish oil. Seven pints of china. Handful of fur guy. And sixty miles per hour of dad. <laughs> sixty miles per hour of dad. Why, well, I just... Andy, quickly, if it's okay with Amy, put up your broth going 60 miles per hour across screen. Go! <laughs> Hold on, let me check my mental inventory. Mmm, damn. Sorry, dude. I don't have any fucks to give. Sad. Honestly, I didn't even know it was called Naruto running until years after I did it. I thought I was just running like Sonic the Hedgehog. Wait. Wait. Wait! Oh my god, it is the same thing! On a dark, stormy night, there was a creature. And you're never going to believe what it did next. It creached. Like this. Alright, that's it. The two genders are yours and mine. So shut the fuck up and be respectful. No, really. Gendering someone correctly isn't that hard. Stop being a bitch. Alright? Alright. Apparently sexy does not mean the same thing as cool. Ugh, shocked and disappointed, RN. Am I right? Oh no, your upper-class neighborhood has writing on it! 
<laughs> this is the funniest fucking graffiti I've ever seen. Garfield's dead? The, the U.S. president, hon. Garfield was the president? The, the, the masculine urge, no, that, no, scratch that one out. The, the, the feminine urge, no, no, scratch that one out too. The human urge is to yearn for the existence of dragons. We all feel it. You know, if Romeo had just cried on Juliet's corpse for a couple hours instead of drinking poison right then, they would have been fine. The moral of the story is, always take time to cry for a few hours before making important decisions. <laughs> Welcome to adulthood. You made me download Tumblr. I hope you're happy. A new hand touches the clown beacon. Yeah, convert your vision to 144p. Hey! Give me my glasses back, jerk! If a werewolf dies, but they were an organ donor, does someone get a kidney that turns into a wolf kidney once a month? Imagine having a feeling of pure bloodlust radiate from one side of your mid-back approximately every 28 days. Bro, I don't need to imagine. What? Middle of the night cat petting makes you feel like a better person. He followed me into my room, and the pain of the world is healed. Now that's wholesome. Hey, have we checked on the Loch Ness Monster lately? What if she's still down there and feeling lonely? Oh my god. Andy, quick! Put me in a submarine! Throw me into the lake, let's go! I don't know my mutual's names. They're simply their URL that I read wrong. You're absolutely right. Um, but free augs? Free augs? Free augs. I love how this whole new people coming to Tumblr now situation has exactly the vibe of Strange showing up in the saloon of an old western town and stepping on the creaking floorboard. Now, I'm sure they met a stranger, but I also was thinking of Oddworld Stranger's Wrath, if everyone remembers that game. Pretty sure this scene happened, who knows? Could be wrong, could be right. Who's to say? Everyone in Gotham always wants to know who Batman is, but they never want to know how he is. He's a grown man dressed as a bat. They know. These were ghostwritten by Bruce and Alfred in that order. Writing is not about telling an epic story or making something that will outlive you. Writing is about going, hey, you know what would be fucking awesome? And then committing word crimes. <laughs> I made a new rule. Never trust how you feel about your entire life past 9 p.m. Okay, but according to my therapist, there's literally scientific reasoning for this. It depends on your circadian rhythm. But on average, after 9 p.m., your emotions are just more sensitive than during the day. You shouldn't have conversations dealing with conflict after 9. You shouldn't engage with potentially triggering content after 9. And you sure as hell shouldn't trust your own judgment after 9 p.m. Just consider your brain done. Either do something to make yourself happy, or go to sleep if you can. Yeah. Every other time I boot up a Steam game, one of my Steam friends messages me telling me to fuck off. And I'm always confused at first. But then I remember what my profile is right now. <sighs> Genius. Okay, well, th this needs the jump scare, I guess. Um, uh, and you just... <laughs> Actually, you know what? Make it the weakest sounding jump scare ever. Go. You ever delete an OC in your game because the game AI decided to try to take control and make its head cannon for your character's cannon? Like, bitch, I think not. Bro, I don't even care anymore. Fuck it. Continues to try very hard. Hey, okay, my entire experience with Elder Dragon. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> the sound of heavy rain while you're in bed. You know, the moon controlling the tide sounds like something out of a fantasy novel, and yet, there she is, doing that. Every day. Good job, Sienna. So proud of you. Pat, pat. Yeah, I need physical touch, but if anyone touches me, I will maim them. It's not easy being green. Nine rings were made for men, seven for the dwarves, three for the elves, and one for the big guy himself. One, three, seven, nine. There is but a set of five missing to complete the sequence of odd numbers. I propose that the missing set of the Rings of Power was gifted to a mysterious someone by their true love, along with a partridge in a pear tree, among other things. In this essay, I will plot twist! The introverted character who doesn't like big social gatherings or speaking in front of people is still an introvert by the end of the story because introversion is not a character flaw, and it doesn't need to be overcome! Okay? 
Okay. Man, what a year this week has been. Am I right? <laughs> Chapters ending in cliffhangers are the reason most of us don't have a normal sleeping pattern. Yeah. Do you ever read a book that's so well written and so up your alley that it low-key ruins the next few books you read? Once again, I reiterate. Yeah. Writing prompt. You are the ghost of a long-deceased king, cursed to haunt the museum where your body resides. Which is especially annoying for you since the museum guides get all the facts about your reign completely wrong. He lived with his best friend. One would even say his best friend for all time. For he never married and instead roomed with only his best friend. He showed no interest in romances, giving expensive gifts to his best friend and never taking a wife. He was clearly very political too, since he never showed interest in a wife or even concubines at all. That was my gay husband, you fucking- ah! You know you like a character when you see them and you're like, oh, they, there they are! Ah! Okay, I, I have to do this. Andy, it's time to out me. <laughs> put up, put up a picture of Commando from Risk of Rain. Just, just do it. There he is. There's my son. I want whatever Doofenshmirtz and Perry the Platypus had in that K-pop stay on Twitter AU. Yeah, I want to go to my grave not knowing what this post is about. Excuse me, but can someone explain why I just had the sudden urge to scream at a bonfire? Maybe it's because you hate bonfires. No, I do not hate the bonfire. I know what it is. Dark Souls Cravens. This is a hell site to you. I'm having a lovely time reblocking my pictures, so. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me, for decades, people from all walks of life made fun of teenage girls for being stands, from the Beatles to BTS, and made teenage girls out of these wild, out of the pocket, intense fans of cute boys. All for turning red to come out and people to act like they've never heard of a girl being into anything in their entire life? It, yeah. Yeah. That, that's how fucked up humans are. Yeah. Well, personally, me and my soulmate use our red string of fate to trick people over. <laughs> Truly the best. No offense to me or anything, but what the fuck am I actually doing? Like, me. What the hell, bro? Snuggles, get your head in the fucking game! Hey! His favorite hobby is napping! Respect his passion! No, 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 their cells are literally slowly burning, they sustain themselves on a corrosive liquid, and they ingest poisons and toxins for fun. Not to mention they become several times stronger under stress, so no, we are not going to the human planet! And then they did. Oh no, Mario, look out for that thwomp! What the thwomp? <laughs> I romantically stand outside your window and hold up my iPhone to blast our song. A 30 second ad place first. Man. College easy, because students have a lot of fun. Cats will be like, Burp. and every human in the vicinity will be like, oh, yes ma'am, you're so right, you know everything. We love you. I mean, they, they do. do. Do you understand that they do? The reason Tumblr should have a mutuals only filter for notifications, because I want to know which of you I need to demand reparations for my post getting popular. Oh, so you don't want to post to get popular? Hmm. Be a shame if this post went viral, don't you think? Okay, you know how Bilbo Baggins was just minding his own business one day and Gandalf just brought a dozen uninvited dwarves into his home? Sorry, Lake Mava, you're about to get more. Go away and bother somebody else! There. Oh. Oh. PM Seymour. Look, if I introduced a WIP on here excitedly and then promptly never mention it again, it doesn't mean I'm not working on it. It means I'm slowly rotating into my mind like a rotisserie chicken and then went out to the grocery store to buy several other rotisserie chickens while I wait for it to cook and then slowly start rotating these other rotisserie chickens and repeat. <sighs> yeah. Minute and minute shouldn't be spelled the same. I'm not content with this content. I object to that object. I need to read what I read again. Excuse me, but there's no excuse for this. Someone should wind this post up and throw it in the wind. Just stop! Wait, are there really new people joining the site? I thought it was a hoax. It's not. Whispering no at a character because you know they're about to make a fool of themselves and kill you with secondhand embarrassment. 
every time. I think those 13-year-old fanfiction writers back in 2012 really created the perfect formula, and we just ignored them. Like, maybe all we need is just a bunch of our favorite characters chilling together in one big house. Maybe that's all we need. You know how we say short king? We should start saying flat queen. Like, this fan art is cool, but Rani is canonically a flat queen. And she is. She gave up anime titties for the power of having two extra arms. God bless her. Also gives us the best magic in the game, hands down. Rice fills me with joy and happiness. But more importantly, it fills me with rice. Mm. Oh my god, I love your necklace. Where did you get it? Oh, it's not a necklace, actually. It's an amulet with an evil force trapped inside that could destroy the entire world if it were ever to be unleashed. But thanks. Oh, and I got it at Claire's. Are new people really enjoying Tumblr or not? It's simple. It would be very funny if new people joined Tumblr and sucked at it. It would also be very funny if no one was joining Tumblr and people were just telling increasingly ridiculous lies. Therefore, I firmly believe both situations are true. The most supernatural thing in this show is how Sam and Dean managed to draw a perfect circle for every goddamn devil's trap ever. I mean... Yeah. How do... How do they do that? You go into a creepy mansion and there's a cloaked figure learning how to play organ from a YouTube tutorial on their phone. And you leave them to it. They're learning. Let him be. Today I learned a Russian scientist injected himself with a three and a half million year old bacteria trapped in Siberian permafrost after successful experiments on mice and fruit flies. He says it has made him flu-proof for the past two years and gave him more energy to work longer hours. Oh, so no one can drink the sarcophagus juice, but this guy can inject himself with ancient bacteria. I see, I see, I see. Literally, if you're new to Tumblr, reblog shit. But it won't fit my aesthetic. Make a side blog. Reblog to that. I hate tagging. Don't tag him. Reblog it anyway. But my likes are public. People here don't fucking look at your likes. They don't do anything anyway. Reblog it. You just want attention. Joke's on you. I don't make shit anymore. I'm talking about other artists. It's embarrassing. Tumblr is an anonymous platform. Make a side block if you're too pansy. But on Twitter, it's fine to have lurk accounts. Well, they suck ass here and are assumed to be bots. Reblog. It's embarrassing. Bro, you're literally on Tumblr. Just reblog. Okay, bye. So... Yesterday, I heard a retail worker at my local smoke, leather, lace, head shop describe steampunk as what happens when goth kids discover brown, and I just... She wasn't wrong. Behold, wizard. And the cooler wizard. Ugh, just because your hat is tilted aside jauntily does not prove your superiority. My wizard hat is set neatly atop my head so that it is secure against strong breezes and someone condescendingly flicking the brim. You know, I can tell that people condescendingly flicking your brim is a recurring issue for you. Wow, so this resume is amazing. I didn't know you could get a PhD for being a babe magnet. Hired. <laughs> Literally me when Andy handed me his work credentials. Who are you? I'm your video editor. Damn it, you are handsome. <laughs> I was just thinking the same. We are sexy. We are sexy bitches. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we can make anything traumatizing if we theorize long enough. <laughs> Dead inside. Keeping the same tabs open for nine days straight because they contain information relevant to tasks you're too lazy to complete. A novel by me. Wow, God said, Let's give this bitch so much self-awareness it's going to stop her from doing literally anything. But we will also make her pretty hot. Hey, stop making shows about Americans in Europe. Try Europeans in America instead. The outrage of not knowing exactly what something costs at a store, no public transport, everyone smiling in your face and waiters scaring you by constantly popping up at your table, ice in your water for some reason. That's the kind of culture clash I want to see. Fuck Emily in Paris. I want Francois in Texas. Imagine your favorite character barging into your room this moment, grabbing your hand and taking you with them into their world. Let's be honest though, most of us would be dead within a week. But it would be a bloody brilliant week. Why do potatoes have more chromosomes than us? What do they need them for? That's none of your business. Fuck 
Rubik's cubes. These bitches are impossible. If I had to save my family by solving a Rubik's cube, I wouldn't even try. I'd let them die. Yeah, I just grunt because you couldn't solve the puzzle. Oh yeah, don't worry about my leg bouncing. I'm fine. That's just the thing I do when I'm bored. Or excited. Or nervous. Or alive. Problems. One, I want the story to be written. Two, I don't want this story to be written by anyone but me. And three, I don't want to write this story. So occasionally, fossils become opal instead of stone. They are called opalized fossils. Fuck it, opalizes. Opa fossil star. My dearest beloved fuckos is a fun, gender-neutral way to begin a speech. See also, esteemed bastards, gentlefolk, ferals, and domesticated cryptids, and my fellow yees and haws. Well, I didn't have a post that ended on scream, so Andy, my man, guess the time it is. Let's do this. Son, I finally found you! After all these years! What are you talking about, man? My dad's right there. No, Kevin, he's right. I'm not your father. I'm your stepfather. <laughs> Papa? I wonder what my guardian angel's doing. Okay, check it out. He's gonna step on a rake. <laughs> the rake wasn't even there before. It just appeared. <laughs> and that's why the Bank of Captain Rich gives you 0.001% interest a year. No, I'll just take my extra money and put it into stocks. You're like, under my bed. Who taught you poor people how to trade stocks? Well, oh, oops, looks like I bought pasta sauce instead of pizza sauce for my pizza tonight. Oh, great, here come the Italians. Hey, hey, what are you hey, doing? Hey, 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 what the hey, fuck hey, is this? Captain Rich, please fix the economy, housing, anything! Have you thought about not being poor? Like, why do the poor just not call the money printer man and ask politely for your regular bag of money? Hello? Money printing man? Give me all this man's money. I feel like I forgot something at home. Well, it's just a McDonald's trip, who cares? Yes, sir, I'm sorry. Only people with foreskin can enter foreskin McDonald's? No, foreskin McDonald's is over there. Yeah, who ordered the mixed circumcised Big Mac? Hmm. Hey, why don't you point that stud detector over here? <laughs> Could you make a beep sound? It would really help my self-esteem. Hey, girl, heard you sad. How about buying some of my life coaching? Uh, oils? Maybe try some of my oils? How about, how about leggings? They're not pyramid schemes, I'm girl buzzing! Okay, don't panic, there's a skinwalker loose and he took my shape, you need to kill him. No, no, do not listen to him, look at me. Me and my human breasts that I've always had that humans like. Yeah, I know the one with the tits is a skinwalker, but I'm really digging their vibes. <laughs> okay, welcome to Team Rocket, here's your unregistered firearm for crime and murder. Yeah, what kind of Pokemon is this? It's a gun. Mariah Carey, the world needs you. Mariah Carey, the Christmas queen, the world begs for your talent. I don't know how Nick Cannon did it. You must be able to get the stripes off a candy cane in one bob or something. Hey, welcome to Team Rocket. Hey man, what's that over there? Oh, that's our teleporting square. If intruders walk on it, they get teleported. Well, that's fucking dumb. Why don't we just hook the teleporter up to like a fire pit, a knife, or my ass? You're right, I like how you think. Let's hook that teleporter up inside your ass. And that's why we want to hook the teleporter up inside his ass. You guys are lucky I'm into that. And that's why short stack goblins make the best girlfriends. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. You have no taste. I'm out of here. I need to meet up with my goblin girlfriend. Aw, oh, shit, babe. Did you free transform yourself again? You look thick. <sighs> okay, what's the problem now? Well, I don't know what I was thinking. It's a little sus you haven't made me your pock champ. What the fuck language is that? Are you speaking to me in Canadian or something? You know, there's just not enough crime in the world. I can change that. And that is my origin story! Not bad! Oh, thank goodness, I found you, Hood Mage. I need some advice on where to take a girl on the first date and- mm -mm -mm -mm. Don't you ever talk to me wearing those fake-ass Jordans. I don't tolerate that disrespect. 
believe it's 2 a.m. I need affirmation. Great, now tell me you love me. I love you as much as Sega likes to quality check and debug Sonic games. What the fuck? Why would you say that to me? Hi, sorry for ghosting you. I'm being tormented by psychic horrors beyond your wildest comprehensions. And guess who made those psychic horrors? My brain. Damn, this is such a good song. Let me play it like 78 times an hour until I hate it. Why you gotta call me out like this, man? I love seasonal fruits. Like, girl, we're back, lol. As a gay person with seasonal depression, I relate to this on a level you probably weren't intending for. COVID must have hit the assassination industry hard. You ever heard of bioterrorism, Pucky? Well, sure, the bioterrorism industry is doing great right now, but us no-nonsense assassins only have guns and a mortgage to pay. I love that when characters don't have a canonical last name, the fandom just slaps the name of the thing they came from as their last name, like Sans Undertale. Um, excuse me. His name is Sans Sans, and his brother is Papyrus Sans. And if you don't believe me, put up this proof right now that Andy's gonna do. Andy, do it. Having ADHD means I get special VIP access to new emotions, such as evil boredom. It's boredom, but it turns me evil. It's like when I arrange my entire office out of spite. <laughs> Hello, Tumblr user. You spend your days closing and reopening the Tumblr app, despite no new posts being made. Now, you must find and select the log off option in the exact correct sequences of clicks or every app on your phone, including system apps, will become Tumblr. You have 60 seconds. Adding charms and keychains to random things definitely improves the living experience. You're absolutely right. Andy, for the rest of this video, put a cute little charm in the corner. Look at that. How precious. Buy 365 near identical solid color shirts that range through the entire color spectrum in a loop. It will appear as though you wear the same color shirt every day, but in photos from previous months, you'll be wearing a completely different color. You son of a bitch, I'm so in! <sighs> Andy, we'll be friends forever. Till Paul do us blart. Hello everyone, I spent some time thinking on it, and I've decided that I'm fucking adorable, and there's nothing you can do about it. Mm. You cause eight psychic damage to the commoner. Yes! Killing him instantly. Wait, what? He's just a guy, Bard. He's just a guy. Why is there a pentagram on your floor? Okay, first of all, Mom, it's not a pentagram. And second, what are you doing in my apartment? Oh shit, I summoned my mom. A parentagram? Congrats on doing what Ed and Al could not. Thor Ragnarok casually glossed over the fact that the Hulk spent two years murdering people for sport. It be like that sometimes. Rip Doug. Pounds a monster at 9 a.m. Ugh, why can't I ever sleep at night? Are you talking about the energy drink? I. I. I thought you were talking about something else. I just. Fuck, Andy, cu cut the video. Cut the video. I added myself as a degenerate. Just cut the video. I'll take care of this at once. You slut dragon! You slut! Chill out, dude. Slut. Okay, that's slut! You, you don't have slut. to. Slut! Oh, the masculine urge to be petty. The feminine urge to be handsome. I realize now that you said petty and not pretty, but I still agree with your statement. I don't like cheese. I'd be pitiful in a fantasy novel. You're pitiful in real life. Just want to show you guys that Muppets Most Wanted Piggy fantasizes about her and Kermit having babies, and this is what they look like. So do with that what you will. <laughs> Why, why does, why does the pick one look like Shrek? That's a penis! I cast a spell of giant radioactive laser. Can, can that be done? Andy, back me up here. Can that be done? Reread zone fix while having writer's block. Well, I wish I could write like this. N60 fact! All those Switch cards contain a bitter N64 cards do not and are still a great addition to any gamer's diet. There's so many things wrong with this, and you kind of notice them in a particular order. Yeah, yeah, you do. There's no wrong way to consume a piece of media. Yes, there is. Yeah, that's why they made the Switch cartridges taste bad! 
big fan of those floating rocks of stone that appear whenever a specific planet is in retrograde. And of course, the other ones that appear only either during the day, at twilight, or at night. Thanks! I made them myself. I believe very strongly in. I didn't say it was good. I said I liked it. But that might be even more important is, I didn't say it was bad. I said I hated it. I just want to say if you hate something good because it sends terrible messages, that's fine. But you can also just hate it because you hate it. Free yourself of the struggle to find a good enough reason. Sometimes it just doesn't hit right. Reblog if you think gay marriage is legal in Bikini Bottom. Well, how else could Squidward and Squillian be divorced? Very good point. Deleting files is such a rush. Mm. Free enough disk space. Oh, baby. I think we're running out of posts to make. Oh, old two terabyte Ted over here thinks they're hot shit, huh? Today I learned that in 1949, a member of the New Zealand Parliament was deemed to have used unparliamentary language for saying of another member that his brains could resolve inside a peanut shell for a thousand years without touching the sides. Well, it is pretty rude to just straight up kill a man in Parliament like that. Don't date people who make you feel like you have to hide your stuffed animals. This is, without exaggeration, probably the best dating advice I have ever seen. What's so sexy about necromancers, you ask? One, goth. Two, hubris. And three, recycling. You go inside and there's a possum on the counter. And you order a foot-long chicken teriyaki, and it uses its mouth to pile various sticks, acorns, leaves, and bugs onto 12 inches of mossy, damp tree bark. It's the best subway you've ever had. And it's still fresher. All right, this fuck right here has no neck, and I just realized there's nothing holding his arms and shoulders to his body. What, why are SpongeBob profile pics for blogging this? I'm so goddamn scared. What the fuck, man? Oh, you fucked up now, son. The two ADHD moods in a nutshell. Overstimulated, can't do it because everything is too much. Or understimulated, can't do it because everything is too boring. Ah! Sir, it's time for your state mandated Western animation style shot. No, 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 Hey, look, it's the oldest internet user in the world. Say the funny gibberish, old man. <laughs> Can I add you on MSN Mesodura Win MX? Come, let me reimagine your favorite media. Man, this looks like a bad fanfic. Ugh, how dare you? You fans just don't understand. Hmm. Today I will cause incredible problems. Hey, Kyle. You want to cause the greatest urban fire in American history? Hmm? <sighs> I have a real hard time dealing with stuff lately. Everything seems warped. Well, you know, every generation has a different problem they deal with. And every generation thinks they are in the end of days type deal. It can be scary, because in your lifetime you'll see several generations, all with new, different things going on. Fear can be hard to deal with, so you gotta do your best to stay in the present and enjoy everything you surround yourself with. Mmm! What a fantastic day to be rich without repercussion! Captain Rich, you gotta help me. I can't get a home. Someone is buying all the houses on the block. Hmm. You're on my property. Look, I'm sorry, man, but I think you're the worst mage. How would you even win a fight, man? Boy! The ass is the largest muscle. And I believe in it. Hmm. Welcome to the happiness conference, everyone. Let's start with a big cheer. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <sighs> oh, fuck, dude. Okay, we only get three wishes at this well. I think we should all wish for stuff to make the world better. Okay. Okay. I wish to end world hunger. I wish to end all war. I wish for rocking tits. Infinite milk! Hey, how'd the job offer go? I turned it down. What? Why would you turn it down? You're the best invisible man in the world! I don't know. I just didn't see myself doing it. God damn it, Flork! Hello, fellow poor. Would you like to try this bug? We all eat bugs now. It's cheap and just like meat. Mmm, yes, yeah, see? It is so good. It is not disgusting at all. Look how much I just ate. Why? It's so good, I think I might be okay with working for $3 an hour now. 
Hello, I'm Dick, and this is my brother. His name is Balls. Your names are Dick and Balls? Are you making fun of the Scrotum Brothers? My god. The government is only giving us 15 trillion dollars. The company will have to cut back from 300 private jets to 299. <sighs> so I finally saw Batman. During the scene in the Iceberg Lounge, my dad leaned over to me and said, Club Penguin, and didn't look at me for the rest of the film. Why? We are God's abandoned Animal Crossing town. There's a tortoise at work, and he's like 30 years old, and I love that he's 30 years old, because I can look at this animal that is three years older than me and go, Does the man want his happy slices? And he hustles over, because the man do want his happy slices. You gotta give the tortoise his apple slices, especially the pulp one in Elden Ring. Andy, help me! Get, help me get the pulp one in its apple slices. There we go. Perfect. When you exit hyperfocus mode, and you're immediately hit with every status effect... <sighs> I feel this one. So hard right now. <laughs> if you got like a hundred kilo bag of glitter and opened it up and left it in the path of like a tornado, I think that would be interesting. I don't care about ecological damage, by the way. Well, I do. Hundred kilogram bag of seaweed based glitter. I don't. Hundred kilogram bag of enriched uranium based glitter. Wait, isn't uranium denser than lead? How heavy would actually a hundred kilogram bag of uranium be? <sighs> Thyrell. Just, just kill me. My favorite kind of villains are the ones that you can understand. Not agree with, not like, but understand. You're frightened by their actions in a really visceral way because you realize that, in the wrong circumstances, you might become a monster too. The scariest type of monsters are the ones that seem human and familiar. Hey, if you ever feel bad about yourself, just remember that if you were a fictional character, people would probably love you for all your flaws and quirks and mannerisms that you probably hate, so just remember that, okay? I love you. Why is this literally the most uplifting post I've seen in weeks? Thank you! A quest is a trip to accomplish a task. An adventure is a trip without a destination. And a journey is when the trip is more important than the destination. Yeah, excuse me while I take a quest to the toilet. I often take journeys up and down my halls to think. I like this. Fair I reanimated and took to a cat girl cafe. Oh, a temple to Bastet. Exactly the same as my day. Uncanny. There's only two genders. One that tells only lies, and one that only tells the truth. You may ask three questions. The amount of effort fic writer does in order to write a fic. Nah, the story doesn't need to be that accurate, it's just a fic. I'm not getting any money out of it. And then as they keep writing and posting, their browse history is something like Moon Calendar in 1981. Hey, hey, hey. The story may not have to be accurate, but the settings and times have to be. Crisis is the mother of opportunity. This feels like good advice and horrible advice. Biologists here! Why are plants green? Well, they suck up air from the sky, blue, and mix it with the sunlight, yellow. I fucking love science. Every time I see this post, I fly into an incandescent rage because it's very almost true, and it fucking shouldn't be. And I hate the way OP explains it. Me reading fix. Oh my god, my poor blurbos. I want to protect them. Oh no, god, my blurbos, no. Me writing fix. <laughs> comment I got the other day I want to believe is satire. Wow, she looks like Rose Quartz if she had a different body, hair color, and face. Wow, this looks like this person if they had a completely different body type, hair color, face, profession, and personality. Yes, that's called a whole other person. You, do you get it now? Today I learned that the first use of OMG occurred in 1917 in a letter to Winston fucking Churchill. In case you think I'm fucking with you, <clears throat> 1917. J.A.F. Fisher, letter 19 of September, in memories, 1919, version 78. I hear that a new order of knighthood is on the tapis. O.M.G. Oh my god. Showered on the admirality. Oh my god. That's cool. And terrifying. And remember when you were 10 and you could hang out with your friends in order to look at the computer together? Like you went to their house and experienced the information superhighway together. And leave. How fucking old are you people? Normal amount. Feline fact. Why do cats purr? Bees. Bees? Bees. Bees? Bees. B bees? <gasps> bees! bees!
My girlfriend is like the sun. Explain. She's a star, makes my day bright by simply existing. My first girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. Well, if you need me, I'll be in the bath watching lava on my television. <sighs> this extremely hot water will have to do. Okay, so you get turned back into a baby, but you retain all your skills and memories. What do you do? Eat a nickel! A reminder, you have retained all your skills and memories. Eat a nickel! <sighs> Okay. I think in Pokemon, the human should also only be able to know four moves. Wait. 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 Wait! Robert Pattinson looks sort of like Andrew Garfield's shadow self. I think if you mix their milk together, you might get a poison and an antidote in one, and it'd do nothing to you. It'd just be like milk for real. You know, genuinely, this makes perfect sense, but I don't think I could explain it to anyone else. Also, why does Andrew Garfield and Robert Pattinson have their own milk? You know, if the Truman Show was real and also existed in, like, 2022, I think people on here would call Truman their poor little meow meow, and then would make Joe fan cams of him to Megan Thee Stallion songs, and they'd draw him as a cat boy, and also that the discourse surrounding it would be legendary. Who is Germa? Oh no, do I want to know? We pray at night, we stalk at night, we're the rats. A dude came in asking if we could get a 13th century, one-of-a-kind, priceless Hebrew Bible shipped to him from a prehistoric library in Milan, Italy. I was like, I don't think that's possible? And he was like, but I only need it for a short while. You're laughing. The dude is literally trying to track down the way to banish an ancient demon. And you're laughing! Evaporated milk. Well, shit, bro, it sure did. All right, listen. Character flaws are really fucking important. Me when someone tells me to stop eating mayo packets like they're gogurt tubes. You... What? I work at Pokemon, and my dad says Sable's final stage evolution will look like Gex, but blue, and aimed at one slur fuckers. I just got fired from Pokemon, so I'm leaking the concept art. Wait. 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 <laughs> Actually, this is the perfect time. Uh, Andy! Andy, my man, my man, my main man. Gex is Inteleon. Can you do it? Can you make that voice happen? And that's what I call getting some tail. What is this, bubble beam? No, before I water gun myself. Looks like I'm gonna have to tail slap these nuts. Yo, someone just said something about the McDonald's universe, and my first thought was, <laughs> well, McDonald's cinematic universe. And now I'll never read MCU as anything else. You're welcome. My dad beat Elden Ring before me. This is such bullshit! Have you tried getting good? Damn. You just got violated by OSHA. Hypothetically, what should I do with a frozen gallon of chocolate milk? Make chocolate ice cream. And by proxy, a chocolate milkshake. Okay, but it's still in the plastic gallon jug. How should I get it out? Cut the plastic with scissors, a knife if you hate yourself, or if you want to have some fun, use a chainsaw. I. Cast. Burn! <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Right, let's just, let's just go back to sleep. Uh, okay, right, video, yeah. Yo, shout out to my 11-year-old sister for having better character concepts than all of you. Greg, the milkman, is very passionate about the fact that milk should be stored in cubes. He's making the perilous journey to pitch this idea to the king, and is also a pact of the fiend warlock. Oath of feeding the birds, paladin. Worm with a gun. Wow. Truly the best OC maker ever. <laughs> you know, boyfriend and girlfriend should be based on vibes, not gender. Tag yourself. Are you a boyfriend or a girlfriend? I don't know. That ADHD feel when you have about like 20 tabs open in your internet browser at one time because you can't focus on anything but keep finding cool things to read. And you know you'll forget about it if you close the tabs so you really can't close any tabs. You don't have to accept an entire fandom to enjoy it. Fandom can be your three friends in a courtship and honestly that's going to make you much happier in the long run. I hear a good lyric and start mentally holding up Blorbos like I'm in some Home Depot paint aisle comparing swatches. Why is this so nonsensical and true? A storm blew away 25% of my roof last night. <gasps> Oof. I had to stop, look up from my phone, and take a deep breath before reblogging. 
I am equal parts angry and impressed. Somebody I used to know came out ten years ago? Love wins. Wait, this is a song, isn't it? Pro tip! Attack your friends to spy check them! If they're hurt by your attack, this means they're a spy! Andy, quick, tackle me! Let's see what happens! Gentlemen? Why did we, as a society, stop putting gargoyles on everything? What fucking loser looked at a building and was like, No, actually, this doesn't need a horrid little creature. Like, why did we stop? The universe has a sense of humor, and I can respect the commitment to the bit, but girl, please! Today I learned gorillas only have type B blood. B for banana. White shell. It's like blue shell, but inverted. White shell, blue spike, and wings. It hits the person in last place, just to be a dick. I'm sorry, did you mean the American economy? <sighs> yeah. Some queenie for today. I've never seen a mouse that looks so much like a mouse before. She looks like she belongs on the cover of a beloved illustrated children's book. <sighs> Baby! Honestly, Blorbo is a name that sounds a lot like the name of a character in an adult swim show. You know what I mean? Like, if you told me that Shmormu and Blorbo went to planet Blumbus to adopt a Pibby, I'd honestly probably believe you at this point. When you put it like that, it sounds like a Rick and Morty bit. Feline-friendly furniture gives your cat a seat at the table, making him the centerpiece at dinner time. Every cat I've known would immediately climb through the hole and start stealing everybody's food. The crime porthole. This was designed by cats. Due to personal reasons, I'm evil now. <laughs> My hip new communications theory is that actually millennial Gen Z internet native humor is so weird and abstract because of the sheer amount of words we're exposed to daily. We've heard a lot of words in a lot of different orders, so if you want to get a reaction out of us, you usually got to put words in an order we haven't seen before. So, like, normally structured jokes aren't as funny anymore, but Lemon Lime Spine is a one-hit KO. You know, I want to disagree with you on principle, because it can't be that simple, but Lemon Lime Spine just <laughs> made me crack up for the first time all day. All right, let's try this. Uh, McMuffin sliding keyboard. I don't know, Andy, do something with that. Discover the world of shrimp. Can I eat the shrimp? No! Can I learn to fry rice here? Yes! Hey, what does Selkie in a Ziploc bag have in common? <laughs> Resealable. <laughs> in Kung Fu Panda, Poe is the dragon warrior because unlike Tai Lung and Tigress, he worked customer service and won't become tyrannical with power. That is the master interpretation. Tumblr's so fun because someone will blog something like, Tommy Egg, two dead, three injured. And you look at their profile and they're like 29 years of age. Hey, 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 you got a problem with our aging populace having tummy aches? Are our senior citizens just a joke to you? Are they anonymous? Are they? Love and characters have to have a domestication arc before you can even consider giving them a redemption arc. We'll get into morality later. For now, stop chewing on the furniture. I'm sorry, did you mean... Peridot from Steven Universe? I could fix him. I could make him worse. Well, I could make him put cat ears on. Yeah. Gender is a demolition derby, and I am a $500 2003 Ford Crown Victoria on a Rolo Indiana Craigslist. Wreck me. Somebody's mad that you took their username. I haven't gotten any anonymous hate about it, so I doubt it. I mean, me neither. I am PM Seymour, right? Right, Annie? Right? Right? Wakes up at reasonable hour. Stays in bed for two more hours. Goes to bed at a reasonable hour. Stays awake for two more hours. Both. Hey, why don't they have big hyped up award shows for books? I mean, I mean, best male female character? Best antagonist? Best plot development? Best plot twist? I mean, come on! Book you threw across the room the hottest? I want to see that award. My goals are beyond my understanding. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma, even to myself. What are you, Final Fantasy boss character? We should just fuck around and start spelling words however we feel right in the moment. Spelling is subjective. Someone says the truth of the matter! It just all makes- you all just sound like New Yorker accents, what are you doing? 
Hey, why are kiss cams at professional Quidditch matches not a popular HB fanfic trope yet? Imagine the chaos when instead of panning to the crowd, the kiss cam focuses on the two opposing seekers. Because the camera was magically fixed to spot the people with the most chemistry. <gasps> it got better. One time I dreamt John Mulaney's son was born at the same time some praying mantises were mating, so they named the mantis species after John Mulaney. John Mulantis. This comment took me out! I'm editing a video and while I was searching for frames, this freaking happened I can't breathe! Grenda is coming! And she's gonna put you in a headlock of pain! Yeah, I don't know, man. It's all just too much. Hey, er, there be no trauma dumping on my poop dick! Now jump to ye death! Hey, did you kill that guy? Yeah. Cool. Cool. You, you gonna stop me? Nah, man. I got enough on my plate. You ever think about how different you'd be if you never met the people you know now? Sure, I guess. Family is important, but if I never met the friends I have, I'd be worse off. Sometimes the family you pick up along the way can shape you more than the family you're born with. So, I'm grateful for the people around me. Like you. Hmm. I don't know, most things seem like a waste of time. You wanna know what a real waste of time is? The time I spent learning action script too. <laughs> okay, today we learn about patching holes in your drywall. If you just have a hole or two, buy a drywall repair kit. It's just a faster process. It's pretty easy. You put the patch over the hole, then spread on the putty. When it's dry, you sand it. Add more putty to make a uniform with wall around hole. Yay. All right, get ready, bucko. Let's change your life. You know, when you said time for camping with the bro, I thought the idea was pretty stupid. But I'm glad I gave it a chance. Well, time to sell my 25 year old truck online. $90,000 firm, wash the tires, don't lowball me, I know what I got. <laughs> Damn, you'd think I'm a business expert. Why isn't anyone buying my truck? Hey, wise guy, nothing rhymes with orange. You shut up, you fool. You shit bugger. You absolute unbaked tart. I will invent one right now. Morange. Verb. To mourn with orange. I will make sure to morange you when you die for being a dumb fuck. If I ever see an Italian again, that's it. Two hands to the eyes. Mm. <laughs> whoa, whoa, scary, spooky. Did you like drop a golden axe or silver axe? You know damn well I didn't drop either of those. I dropped a very expensive, obscure adult pleasure jewel that comes in the shape of a magical beast! I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. This pond sucks and you're not getting it back. Great! Time to make this cubicle home. Time to add some flair. Like this plate heater and this sleeping bag. They can't fire you if you're doing a good job. And they can't tell you to leave if you tell them you're working. Well, 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 Agent 003. How long has it been? Where are you hiding? Just didn't want to leave my house. Well, I came up with the perfect torture method for you. You must make a return for something you bought. However, there is no text or chat. You must call their number to talk to an agent. <laughs> can you just kill me instead? Like, I'll dress as a deer and you can call it an accident. You see, I made a VTuber, but she has a dark past and deep lore and she's wanted in 14 countries. Okay, so what do you do then? I go on Twitch and play Barbie's Magical Horse Racer 3. Sounds cool. That's cool though. Glad you found something you like. Oh yeah, oh yeah, man, music. Hey man, I don't think those lyrics are right. You're crazy, of course these are the right lyrics. Are you trying to gaslight me in the club? On my day off? Fuck you! You fool! You've activated the D-Erection Cube, but now everything will become soft! See? My pen is floppy now! Okay, that's cool, but I'm built different. I'm hard as algebra right now. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Hey man, can you hold my cup of water? Need to use the bathroom and I don't want to complete the circuit by holding any food or drink. Man, you would not believe how hard I pee. I saved <coughs> your water. Okay. Sole wa hey, true test.